Oh, dang it. He zoned. Hate it when that happens. Hello, everyone. It is Saturday, January 6, 2018. I'm Dent. That's Cinequil. That's Alley Cat. That's that's the cooking guild point person. <laughs> we're still playing Final Fantasy XI Online. Um, we're either really late or really early, depending upon which way you want to look at it. On Tuesday, the internet was... Well, let's just say I wasn't getting my money's worth. But, uh, hold on one sec. But, what were they gonna say? Yeah, so we're gonna go do that today. Um, make up for it. We're also going to do a quest that's related to fishing that I've been meaning to do for a while. We're going to, uh, it's just, I know where we're gonna go. Why don't we go change jobs? Let's do. Do my heart. Not exactly sure which job I want to switch to. A pet job might be neat, but I don't think I've got enough, uh, what do you call it, like summoning gear for have a carby out full time and then have a carby attack whatever mobs I fish up, even though that would be awesome. Um, I could do Beastmaster, I suppose. Let's do Monk. Monk never gets any love anymore. We can go fish on Monk. Vet will be able to, uh, what's a better word? Be able to get some goggles. At least that's what the plan is. We're gonna change job, we're gonna do main job, we're gonna do monk. And for a support job, let's do let's do Dark Knight. Cause you never know. Just might fish up something really big. Alright, so questing wise, what questing wise, what was it called? So those of y'all that started the game. Long, long, long time ago, probably have a vague recollection of a uh, boy in North Sandoria by the fountains that's waiting for his dad, and his dad is at the weapon shop trying to decide what weapon he wants to buy. I think it's called uh, Father and Son. With the Wings of the Goddess expansion, they had a, uh, another quest that was similar called Son and Father. And that's what we're going to try and do tonight, if I remember how to do it. Let's go to the next page. Let's do... I'm looking for Ronfar. There we go. Southern Sandoria. Hopefully they're not under attack. Because they probably would be under attack. Yay! Hello, Lanos. And Mirathil. I hope I said that right. Mirathil, I believe is the correct way to say it. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, Lanos. What are you wearing for a headband? Eh. <laughs> Can't look at it right now. I know it's not right, but yeah, the second one was right. Mm. I'm getting better at this. Of course, I have no idea which way the run is. So just go ahead and open up this. We're going to hit wide scan, and while that's loading, I'm looking for Exorche. I think it's the dude's name. And I kind of, I mean, I, there he is. Track. I was kind of thinking maybe they would put the uh, stuff in the wide scan in alphabetical order. But that'll probably never happen. Wrong the loops. Always got to stare at him. All right, so that's not who you're looking for. Oh, don't tell me we have to go upstairs. But good, we don't. So I wonder, is this going to be the father when he's like a little kid? Could be. Let's find out. Exorchi. What do you got to say? Oh, no. He's crying into his sleeve. You know, somebody took some pretty expensive materials and a earth crystal and made that for you, you know, and sure if they knew that you were just going to use it to wipe your nose, then... Oh, I should stop. Not making the mistake you did with downloading Twitch vids. Actually renaming them once I download them. That'd probably be good. I almost uploaded something that would have gotten me banned. 
Anyways. Oh, help me, kind miss. I came here with my father, but now he's... He's... Gone! Find him yourself. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Is it gonna work again? <laughs> Did what? Well, apparently I have two folders on uh, my computer that say download. And one is set directly to the, uh, what you call it, uh, hard drive, and the other is set directly to, uh, I guess, the dentral user thingy. And I thought it was the same thing, but oh well. No harm, no foul, right? Anyways, help me, help me, of course. Well, if it isn't Exorche! Got separated from Daddy Darius again, did we? No, no. See, I would have thought this would have been a girl. Ha! One can hardly blame him for wanting to be rid of a crybaby like you. My father's going to show me how to fight with his Zyphos. A pity you're too busy bawling your eyes out. All right, let you tag along. Ta-ta! <laughs> what if it was something not safe for work? Well, actually, you haven't seen some of the stuff we play at work. But, uh... <laughs> Fear the night, for I am in it. Happy Saturday. Sniff, sniff. Father, wherever did you go? Child is too distraught to provide you with any information. His name, however, strikes you as strangely familiar. Dot, dot, dot. Alright. I really remember where this guy is. Okay, so the first part of the quest is speak to Exorche. Then you gotta speak to him again in Southern Sandoria. In the present. Mm -hmm. Oh, what gets you banned on YouTube? <laughs> you think they give me like a warning? It's all like, we're th not gonna let you upload this because we think it's the wrong video. I mean, how many times would that have happened? But yeah. <laughs> Which one's a survival guide? This one. All right, we're gonna do teleportation assistance and original lease over in Sandoria yes believe it or not this might be actually faster than running back to the home point crystal and teleporting directly to southern Sandoria it is southern Sandoria we're going to right yeah I'm pretty sure I know which NPC this guy grows up to be hmm These were the guys that were involved in the uh, Paladin artifact armor. I think. Pretty sure. Travel to another home point. Sandy, Southern Sandy. Let's do Auction House. Yes. We'll eventually get to the fishing. Trust me on that. <laughs> Lanos is still in Washington, unless he's. Um, you haven't moved yet, have you, Lanos? No, because he would be, like, asleep when I'm awake and awake when I'm asleep. This way. Over here. Weapon shop. It was weird. I went to, uh, North... North Windy. I went to Windy Waters earlier to pick up some, uh, tea leaves. And the, uh, Taru Taru was, like, crying because he was out of stock. And then that's when I checked out the regional info. And it was a lot quicker than it was in Windy. It's in Saruta Baruta. I'm like, man, now I'm gonna have to like look up the NPC vendor for Saruta Baruta and Winders. That just requires work. So anyway, here's the crybaby. Exorche. He got tall, which is why we told him to find him yourself the first time. But oh well. What's that? You wish to hear of my father? Forgive me, but I'm far too busy to indulge in idle reminiscing. Perhaps you can seek out my son, I betch. Is that that? Is that how you say that? I betch? I betch, eh? I have no idea. We'll just call him A. The boy was quite close to his grandfather. Okay, I know exactly where we're going now. We're gonna click this, we're gonna run over here. There's goblins in town. There's moogles in town. Hey, I think they even let a Galka in southern Sandoria. This is why Sandorians hate adventurers. 
because, you know, reasons. I think, well, I don't, actually, I don't know. Sandy may not be in first place. No, Sandy's in first place. Galka. Breathing fire, even. Don't they know that this town is surrounded by forest? He's trying to kill everyone. He should run him out of town. Actually, no. They should drown him. Run him out of town, he might breathe fire onto the trees and exact his revenge. But if you drown him, then no harm, no foul, right? Shouldn't say that. Golkas are great. I want to party while Golkas one day. Sandy's normally in first, silly. Psh! Pshaw! Maybe on your server. Wait. We're on the same server. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Every now and then, Windy sneaks out in first place. And then, once every 15 years, Bastok. Bastok takes the lead. I was about to say, uh... <laughs> yes? Is there something you need? Not really, about your father. About your grandfather. You've heard of grandfather? That does not surprise me. He was, after all, an angler of no small repute. Why, in his younger days, he would rise at the crack of dawn and hike through Jugner Forest to Lake Bechium. You were there the other night. There, he would lose himself in fishing until sunset. Remarkable devotion, is it not? It is Saturday night in Dallas, we're going to hear a lot more sirens. My apologies. <laughs> My son is sick and he asked for a magic wand. And not just any magic wand, he was one of those... He wants a real magic wand so he can make himself better. What do I say to that? Um, eBay. The uh, Harry Potter magic wands that came out when the Harry Potter movies had first come out. I mean, the actual replica ones that match the ones in the movie. They're either going to be a lot more expensive than they were when they came out, and they were pretty expensive when they came out. Or they're going to be a lot cheaper because supply and demand. Let's see what he says next. Oh, would that I could go on such a fishing trip with my own father. Alas, it seems he did not inherit grandfather's love for the sport. Dot, dot, dot. Alright. So hopefully that was the next part, because I actually didn't read it. Speak to Exorcia in Southern Sandoria. Done. Speak to Mr. Abe in Northern Sandoria. Done. Now we got to go speak to Landeric in Jugner Forest in the past. Mm, let's see what there is. It's 50 bucks. Well, 50 bucks, make your son magically heal himself? And shoot, that's stupid. More like, what, a month of a Blue Cross Blue Shield? <laughs> well, not much more or less. Draconia! Happy Saturday. We're not drunk yet. We're saving the uh, booze for a little bit later. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to resurrect an old tradition. It used to be, in the good old days, if you ever got a fishing skill up, then you had to do a shot. And I understand that they've increased the way that you can get, uh, fishing skill ups nowadays, so that, uh, we're probably gonna get messed up a lot more quickly. Probably. Hopefully. Well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go talk to this one. I'm trying to remember what would be the best way to get to the lake. Okay, I remember now. We're gonna travel, let's go back to uh, Ronfar. Yeah, that's it. Southern Sandoria, homeboy number one, yes. Well, this is the chaser. We shouldn't drink all the chaser just yet. It's just the heater's been on all week. And today's like the first day it's actually gotten back into the 60s. What'd you get for Christmas, Dent? I got to see my mom. It was awesome. First time I've seen her in what felt like two years. And... And I got a uh, nail in my uh, tire. The uh, driver's rear, rear side driver side. And I took it back to the place that uh, I bought it from. They're like, hey, can you fix it? They're like, no. We can sell you another one. It's only $200. So I'm going to try one of the uh, other folks. Because it still has air in it. It just, you know, kind of 
runs out of air. I, I have a compressor in the uh, trunk. So that's me every morning putting air in my tire. <laughs> it's usually halfway on the way to work. The uh, car goes ding. Air pressure low. <sighs> Alright, King's Forest Crown this way. Yes, do that. I'm not going to worry about uh, trust NPCs. I'm just going to hop on a mountain. <gasps> think I'll use the war machine. Yeah, let's use the war machine. That way we'll be in disguise. And hopefully not attacked by the Elbon. You know, now that I said that, I'm trying to remember the last time I heard this song. It's been... It's been a long time. It's, um... I mean, even before they had mount music, you would come out here, and this place is usually under attack, so it's all campaign style stuff. Not that the campaign music's bad, it just overwrites this one. So maybe we'll just let this go for a little bit longer. Then we'll hop on the mountain. Wait till we get aggro. <laughs> Actually reminiscent of the very first campaign battle that I went into. It was with friends and they thought I knew what I was doing and I was like, no! Hey, look, an orc! And I just started to attack it. And I uh, didn't have a... Well, I didn't talk to the NPC to get the uh, tags. Because I'm like, orc! Kill! And, uh... Yeah. Dendril spent the uh, rest of the fight face down without any uh, tags next to his name. <laughs> oh. But hey, you only make that mistake once. Maybe twice. I probably made a mistake twice. And every now and then, it was difficult to get the uh, tags because there were like orcs on top of the NPC. It's like as soon as you get it, you're like animation lock because all the orcs are trying to kill you. I have to wonder. These are actual explosion holes. What are they called? Um, craters, right? So what have the orcs been firing at them to make craters that big? Because I've seen the machines that they bring to the fights, and they're not that big. Maybe it's magic spells. It's probably magical spells. It makes more sense. Cheers. Craters from their war machines hailing the land. <laughs> I can see that. All right, speaking of war machines, let's go ahead and hop into this. <gasps> this is actually a good time, too, because the battle just started. <laughs> Fire rapid cannonballs. Did you ever do any of the PvP? I forget what they call it. Ballista and Renner were the uh, two main PvP things. I never did it professionally, never made it to the finals or semi-finals or anything like that, but I did get the Xbox achievement for Gold Ballistar, I think is what they called it. And, um... So, yes, but really, no. <laughs> it was... Let's just face it, I was always on Monk, and it was just too easy. And Red Mage, Red Mage was the only job that I would have had difficulty time with, because, you know, once they get all buffed up, they're pretty unstoppable. Unless you can stop them, in which case, you know, it's like fighting a Black Mage. Just interrupt their spell cast it. Sleep nukes! <laughs> Remember Meta? He, uh, cast gravity on me and then bio and started kiting me around. <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> I am not the sea monk that drops the joy toy. I hit harder than I can. No, that's not true. Alright, I'm... I think I know where we're going. I may not. They still have Ballista? They do? On this server, 
the matches are usually uh, canceled because not enough people sign up for it, but I would imagine some of the other servers probably have a fairly decent uh, showing. Oops. I hope I, it's not a one-way drop. All right. Mm -hmm. Sneak, sneak, sneak. There's a campaign battle going on in here, too. You know what? I never noticed this before, but Lenderic and Cyndaquil, they have the same color hair. Hey, Len, Derek, what do you gotta say? Silence! I said. What's that? My son is looking for me at Sandoria Eastgate? And bawling his eyes out, I imagine. Thank you for your troubles. Tell him to remain where he is, and that I shall return after I have seen to my errands. This is why nobody likes L1. I mean, seriously. All right. Speak to Land Eric in Jugner Forest. Then we got to go speak to Exor Chance of Incendoria, and he's gonna give us something. I'm not gonna say what. That might be a spoiler. Hey, that's not a war machine. It's a kitty cat. Big black muscular kitty cat. If I had one, he'd probably eat me. I could see that. Actually, if I had one, I could see Miss Kitty, Miss D, riding the Black Panther instead. I almost want to get her a Roomba. Just so I could watch her sit on it as it vacuums in the middle of the night. She's the only one that's not terrified of the vacuum cleaner. All the other cats I had it was great. Get the vacuum cleaner. I love vacuum day. And I was always like chasing the cats with it, laughing maniacally. <laughs> you just see their eyes all bugging out and they're trying to find some place to run to and hide. This <laughs> is a mama cat. She, uh, Ended up behind the computer in the mess of wires, because I'm really bad when it comes to wire management. Actually, no, I'm actually pretty decent when it comes to wire management. It's just maintaining it doesn't do so well, because that all, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Things get tangled. Probably because the cats go back there, mess with stuff. They like messing with stuff. There's, a uh, Sung's, uh, what you call it, LAN cable for his, uh, Machine. It's an XP machine, so I don't have any wireless to it. It's a a very well. It's a very very old computer, and it's also a very very old Cat Five cable. And so one of the little doohickeys that keeps it plugged in there broke. So the cats like to pull it out. He's like, "Song's been disconnected. He's red dotting." <laughs> Her sweets. She was a. Uh, we got separated in a skirmish one time, and she was like, Save me, Song! I've got mobs chasing me, and I'm on Summoner, and I don't have my summons out, and I can't summon them. Why aren't you saving me? And that was, uh, trying to take care of Cyndaquil, who was looking for Dent, who was, like, auto-running into a tree. <laughs> it was around that time that I came to the realization I probably shouldn't Try to triple box Alluvian skirmishes. <laughs> Not when there's others around. Orcish. Cor <gasps> Nagdad. Oh. No, no. I don't know. Stay focused. I mean, if Nagdad's out, though. Shoot. It's because of him that I was able to find my salvage shell. He's a monk. He used Hundred Fist. Dent's a monk. He used Counter Stance. It was awesome. Oh my goodness. It was all kept just trying to destroy me, and instead I was just countering every, Well, not every single one of his uh, punches, but like 99% of them. And Saru! Happy Saturday, or happy Sunday. God, it is almost Sunday now. Where does the time go? I don't know. 
It's like my one day off is tomorrow. I gotta do all my Saturday stuff and all my Sunday stuff tomorrow. Which is just mostly laundry. Vacuum day. Yeah, I guess that's probably it. What are we doing tonight? We're gonna get some uh, monk, monk gear. We're gonna get some fishing gear and then we're gonna fish for turtles. All right, Exorche, found your daddy. What? You found my father, you say? Oh, here he is now. Exorche, where did you run off to this time? That's him! Hey, he changed clothes. Or did he? Oh no! That You spineless milksop! Get yourself lost. And all you can do is wail and whimper till some passerby takes pity on you? Have you no shame? But, f father Enough of your sniveling. You are Elvon. You are to conduct yourself with honor and dignity at all times. Now, this was back in the past, so this is probably going to be followed up with um, Daddy backslapping his son. Viewer discretion is advised. But, 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 father! Oh, okay, never mind. You just pointed at him. I'll forge you into shape yet. You can stand there alone until you figure out what it means to act like a man. They do that in the present, too. <laughs> they do. No, father, why must you be so cruel? Don't leave me! My apologies for any trouble imposed upon you by my lily-livered brat of a son. <laughs> Please accept this in return for your efforts. But that's my sword! <laughs> oh god, it's fits! <laughs> what? But father, that's my favorite broadsword! Silence! Until <laughs> you dry those shameful hot tears! You are no son of mine! <laughs> it's just role-playing walking off stage left. My bronze sword! Without it, I... I cannot... Yeah. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Still <don't> like the... <laughs> uh, I guess we talk to the sun again? <laughs> Good taco! Happy Saturday! Get the, <laughs> give the kid his broad sword tent. I don't know. I, I should probably get like nine gil for it. <gasps> I could desynth it. Yeah, I think I actually have a light. No, I don't have a lightning crystal. I used them all earlier. Dang it! My bronze sword. Without it, I cannot. Yeah. All right. Dre the bronze sword to Exorche for a brief cutscene. He will return it to you. Mm, then we gotta go back to the forest. Do some stuff. Alright. Actually, can I do it this way? Item. Bronze. Sword. Teeth. Does work. Don't destroy it, Den. That's even more nasty than his dad. Could, could it be? You've come to return this to me? I haven't left. Oh my god, no wonder why he grows up to be such an idiot. <sighs> oh, thank you ever so much. This is the bronze sword that I shall wield to protect my family. Kingdom. When I become a great, strong knight. And yet, I cannot accept it from you. Father has forbidden me from bearing arms, save for as part of my weapons training. I can receive this sword only when he deems me worthy of it once more. The bronze sword was returned to you. Viewer discretion is advised. Somebody had to. Anyways. Um, I guess we could go talk to Mr. E Vague. No, you Vague. Temple Knight. The King's Horse is probably North Orcs. Take care, lest you find yourself roasting on a spit over one of their campfires. It's okay, man. Got a bronze sword. Got it covered. Ah. 
Actually, I wonder if I should just swing by the uh, campaign battle real fast and uh, see if Nagdad's up. I'm not gonna do it solo. No. Could bring a healer. She'll be my off tank. <laughs> If he's not up, we're just going to run right past it, continue on, but if he's up, I mean, it's the boss, you know? It's like, he only goes to this one zone. Wide scan, he'd probably be going towards the bottom, or maybe we're just not close enough yet. Probably just not close enough yet. See a pixie? I keep forgetting that they have pixies in the past. Yeah, that's it. White scan. Alright, I see one orc. But not all of the orcs. There he is. He's up. Alright, let's see if we can get a our points without getting uh, destroyed. I'm going to get you poison head, Nagdad. Well, not you. Actually, I wonder if I could. I should attack him without the deal. Uh, new ally tags. All right. This one's for Dent. Ability. Job ability. Counter stance. Do it. Do it! He just used 100 fist. 100 fist? That's more like 100 whiff. Ow. It's embarrassing, but. You know, my thief attacks faster. Yeah, this is not nearly as exciting. Let's make it exciting. Ability, job ability. Soul leader. <laughs> Kuru's gonna go like, screw you! Here's one cure five. Cure six. Hands off. Should we make it go for broke? Yeah, let's go for broke. Hundred fists with a soul eater engaged. We're gonna be dead soon. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Eight seventy two, sixteen hundred, fourteen hundred, eleven hundred, nine hundred. Ah, oh, dang it! Ran out of hit points. I'm gonna need a cure, hun. I don't even have curing waltz. Oh well. Did I not get the tags? I guess I didn't get the tags. Oh well. That didn't count. We'll have to do it later. After he recovers. Two gat. One, two, three. I forgot what day it was. Saturday. Happy Saturday. We are preparing to go fishing. And we just, you know, made a little side trip to, uh, you know, say hi to an old friend. But, uh... Well, that was Poison Hand Nagdad. I think that's how you say his name. He's a monk, he's an orc, he's big, he's green. We've known him for years. That's probably, if I had a favorite orc. I mean, it'd be a toss up, really. I mean, there's that one orc in uh, Gelshba Outpost. The one that, uh,. What's his name? What's his name? Oh, it's like a... Uh, uh, Fat Git. War Chief Fat Git. Him and uh, Poison Head. They're my two favorite quirks all in the game. Is there a super difficult Kektar in this game? Yes! There is. And he's... I don't know if he uses 10,000 needles, but... There's a Unity Kektar. Actually, there might be two Unity Cactars. I haven't fought them yet, so I can't exactly say I know much about them. 
But yeah, definitely have cat cards in this game. I guess now that everybody has can easily get over 2,000 hit points, and even other folks with trust NPCs, as long as you like have a bunch of beefy Galkas around, should be no problem. I say that. Ferris Coffin, he's kind of beefy. Maybe we just need somebody to stun the 10,000 needles. God, that would hurt too. 10,000 divided by 6, that's... I mean, it's manageable, but still. <laughs> Can Blue Mage learn 10,000 needles? It's Rainmard! I know this guy! Needles can't be stunned. Of course not. So anyway, this dude... He's like one of the first red mages you can get if you don't have Koru Maru. Um... Let's see if I can find him. Notice that I'm not looking under support. Ta-da! This guy has a sword already drawn. Um, this is a melee red mage. I think. Pretty much. Yeah, he's DD. <laughs> uh, he's just hanging out. That, that was a thing. You could find uh, NPCs, and then each one of them had uh, something unique with them. And you'd be able to uh, possibly recruit them for one nation or the other. I think everybody wanted a... Uh, what you call it? Matt. Because, you know, Matt's awesome. And just like that, he's like, I'm out of here. Len Derek, got a question for you. Ah, it's you again. Pray accept my apologies for my son's shameful behavior the other day. I trust your new bronze sword is serving you well. Jeez, stream on a weekend panic monster. Hello, llama. Happy Saturday. It's a uh, it's makeup day for past Tuesday. Then I had to work today, so it kind of feels like a weekday. Very much feels like a weekday. Doesn't feel like a Saturday at all. Oh well. Um, I guess I have to trade the bronze sword. Wait, 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 wait. Trade the bronze sword. Ah, it's you again. Pray accept my apologies for my son's shameful behavior. The deja vu. We just had this conversation. And wow, if this isn't picturesque. I mean, you got some ferns off to the side here. You got a tree. It's not exactly doing the right movement, but the only thing wrong with it is the uh, mountain in the background that's, you know, missing most of it. Other than that, it's pretty nice. What is the meaning of this? You would disgrace a proud Elvon by returning that which was gifted to you in good faith? I'll have no part of it. Well, maybe we should just trade it to your chest. Hmm? At any rate, my pisking quarry here demands my full attention. If you would be so kind, dot, dot, dot. He sat down. It's like, dude, get that fishing pole out your... Sorry. <laughs> It would seem subtle is not your strong suit. Was there still something you would have of me? Ask for fishing advice. We should ask for fishing advice. Get on his good terms, right? No. No. It, you will be given multiple options. If you choose the wrong one, the sword will be returned to you. All right, so just because we could be fishing right now, we're going to ask about Exorche. Ah, my boy has caused you grievance again, has he? Not in the slightest. You are returning the blade on my son's behalf, you say? Whatever is the meaning of this? <laughs> my gubby bag was full. I've got a better one. The boy's spirit is true. Ha! Now that's a fine jest. That boy is too busy wetting his sleeves to show any higher aspirations. Or would you say otherwise? We could say, earn the blade back from his father, sell it, and 
dribble away the money, win fame and adulation and battle, protect his family and kingdom. My son said that. In here I thought he saw that bronze sword as little more than a toy. Perhaps he is more of a man than I had measured him for. Very well. I shall return his beloved blade. As a present from you, we shall say. Forgive me, but there are still fish to be caught before my return. Tell my son that I will be along in due time. Mm. Alright, come on, Raymard. We got a sword to return. Ba -bum. I don't think Rainmard would appreciate being referred to as like a sidekick or a uh, vanity pet. Actually, now that I think about it, Square Enix, vanity pets. I want a little Shadow Lord to follow me everywhere. Outside, in battle, in Sandy, while fishing, you know. They don't have to do anything. It would be nice if they walked, as opposed to that little sliding animation that you could probably have them do. But, yeah. Vanity pets. I mean, if Star Trek Online can have them, obviously. An esteemed game such as Final Fantasy XI could make it happen. Square Enix is like, you already have vanity pets. They're called trust NPCs. If you want a smaller one, summon a Taru. They're not raw. <laughs> but oh well. We could have used a survival guide back there. Actually, I think we will. Because just do that to automatically teleport back to uh, Southern Sandori. And it's actually going to be within a few steps of where uh, Exorche is. And this way we won't accidentally get... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Distracted by orcs that need slain. I don't know why my panther can't run in a straight line tonight, but we shall see. Alright. Click in survive click in the survival guide. Uh teleportation. Wings of the goddess. We'll find it eventually. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I passed it. It's at the top, wasn't it? Southern Jugner, Batalia, Necropolis, Bastok, North Gustaberg, Robert, Vunkrel, Pashlau, Rollenberry, Crawlers, Winders, West, Fort, Merfotod, Bosidine, Castles of Balls. Really? Oh, it's right there at the very top. Just making sure. You know, reasons. We're gonna. Teleport into town, and it's going to be under attack, and uh, or not, and then all the NPCs will be, uh, how shall we say, engaged in the defense of the fortifications. And interesting side note: if you ever do show up into a campaign battle that's happening in town, and you usually rely on your in, uh, trust NPCs to uh, buff you and keep you alive, unless they changed it. Last time I tried to do it was a while ago. And, uh, even though I think you can have summoned NPCs out here, you cannot call forth your trust NPCs. Summoned NPCs, summoned NPCs, like, uh, Carbuncle and... I don't know about Jug Pets. Maybe. My bronze sword. Sniff. Without it, I can't... We've heard this. Hey, XRJ. Apparently Dad has a survival guide. Teleport 2. Father... She's a beauty, is she not? Oh, they're talking about me. My hard-won catch of the day. Wait, what? And I believe this is yours as well. Still don't want to know where he kept that bronze sword. Could it be my bronze sword? Thank you, Father. Bah! Were it my decision, you'd not have seen it again until you were man-grown. You have the generosity of this stranger here to think. Oh, you truly are too kind, milady. Uh, Santa Quill, it's like over my head. <laughs> Maybe he can't read. <laughs> Thank you, milady, Santa Quill. Well, now that you have a blade again, 
I suppose I must teach you to swing it without lopping off your own extremities. That would be good. Truly, on my honor, Father, I shan't let you down. Oh-ho! There's a spirited reply. I just might make a knight of you yet. Hell, Exorce! What a charming little bronze sword you have there. A fitting toy for a child such as yourself, methinks. I want to see the father, um, like, pull a pole arm out of his ass and just <laughs> chunk it at the little brat. Me, I've already received a Xyphos from my father, a true knight's weapon, you see. Perhaps we can spar sometime. Should you ever feel the need for a proper bruising, that is. <laughs> F father... Like, don't make me smack you here in front of the stranger. Hear me well, Exorce. Let others say as they will. In the end, tis not the mightiest sword, nor even the savviest fencer who shall win the day. It is the one with honor and justice on his side. Don't forget the fishing goggles. Remember this always. Discipline yourself in mind and body, and you will grow strong. Yes, father. One day I shall be the strongest, bravest knight in the kingdom. No, you won't. That's Halber. I will make you proud. Side note. What strikes me as most hilarious is that there's going to be... Well, there's two female Elbon. One that slept with Grandad here and produced... Cry baby, and then when he grows up, he's going to meet another female Elvon who will produce the other one. And it's just like, oh god, why? Let the line stop. Yeah, sorry. I've not felt such a close bond with my son in quite some time. <laughs> I'm in your debt, Syndicate. <sighs> As it seems, the lad will have need of his bronze sword after all. Pray accept this instead. It's a token of my gratitude. I don't need them anymore. The boy may be tender in years, but his heart is true. I shall endeavor to see him raised to be as strong and honorable as yourself. Big nod. And we got the trainees spectacles. Now, they did this with, I believe, all the uh, crafts in uh, Wings of the Goddess. Basically, it was their way of doing a bonus for starting out. Trainee specs, latent effect, fishing skill, plus one, level one, all jobs, it's EX rare. I do not believe you can send it to uh, other characters on your account, but if you look closely, they're a lot nicer than the uh, dandy spectacles. So, um, for all those players out there that got their goldsmithing skill up to uh, what is it needed? 50 or maybe 70 I think to be able to get the goldsmithing specs if you wanted the black ones I mean I don't know if this is the exact same model. They seem a little brown I don't think they're the same but it's going to go a lot better with the most of her gear <laughs> so yay 70 plus if not 90 plus oh, dandy specs equals best specs. Dandy specs are cool Especially if you have something red to bring out the best of them. Such as macros at equipment set. Let's try this one right here. Style lock it. Yeah, see? Dandy specs. Bring out the red. But, yeah, we're totally gonna be a. We're like, say, this outfit right here. I'm gonna do it right now. Inventory, trainee specs. Style lock. Then it's like, bam. Let's go do. Let's go watch the Matrix now. <laughs> Fun times. All right. So now we're gonna go fishing. In a run far. That's it for the questing. <laughs> it still feels like a Friday night. Maybe it's because we did such terrible questing last night. Oh, I did swing by um, a busy uh, constant before the stream, traded in a couple of the uh, pictures that I took, and am now rank 3 
in a what's the word I'm looking for? Fame and the constant Anabisia, which I guess doesn't mean much of anything, but I'm gonna see if I can get up to uh, rank six before uh, next month. We can finish those quests, get put it all behind me. Um, let's do original release areas. We're looking for West Veronfar. He's in tabs. What level is max? I want to say six. Level six was the fame. Um, what was the dude's name? What was his name? It started with letter A. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Abyssia con that fame. Hmm. That didn't pull up what I wanted it to. We'll listen to this here, uh, what you call it? Storyline quest, own quest, lights, how to enter, vision, here we go, constant highlands. There we go. Click that. Constant highlands, here's a map. Not Argus, not Ayame. Flacco! Didn't start with an A. Alright, Flacco. You might like these articles? No, just... What, it doesn't talk about the fame? Really? Goodness. Um, notorious monsters, monster equipment related links, Abyssia constant lights. No, mis really? Where did I find it then? Oh, I know where. Okay, okay. I think I remember. It was probably FF11 Clopedia. So they look exactly alike, except they don't. Um, Falco. Right? No, that was the uh, singer from uh, the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. We're just going to say it's six. <laughs> if it's not, I will correct it next time. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's not that many quests to do in there. 120. Or, oh, we weren't talking about fame, were we? No, we weren't talking about fame. Sorry about that. Not going to mouth. Let's go ahead and... Put on our fishing stuff. I'm gonna do my wardrobe number four, put the Lu Shang's rod. And then for some reason I still have not lost that frog lure that I made a couple weeks back. Yeah. Cooking has a lot of additional uh, plus skill up stuff. Fishing and synergy is still 100. We were talking about fame. Level 120 fame would be cool. What if you added up all your fame in all the areas? That would be cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a favorite spot. Everybody has their own favorite spots fishing. I've tried other spots, and this one's my favorite. Two reasons. Well, actually, only one reason, really. When you're pointed to the west, which is what I'm about to do, the mountains, they're too far away so they don't load on the screen, and you get to see the sunset in between the trees. Dentril, will you kill some tough things sometime this week? Let's see. No. Um. <laughs> Wait, we got Ambuscade set for Thursday because that's going to be after the version update. Um. We might. But. Chances are it's probably going to kill us. And the next thing that I have set that might be somewhat difficult... Where did it go? Huh. I thought I had a... Not cheese fate. A domain invasion plugged in there somewhere, but... Yeah. We still need to reach Max Fame and Grubber, Galtepa, and Uligarond one day. <laughs> it's true, we do. Alright, we're going to click the slash fish thingy and uh yeah what what the reason that we're kind of putting all the end game stuff on hold right now is i want to finish burk gang but i don't want to burn myself out finishing burk gang because then i'll be like let's go play a different game that's why we're just taking our time really really went out of the way and it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those nights isn't it all right, let's see. Yes, 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 yes. It was just beginner's bad luck. Next one will be a catfish. Make it a catfish. 
Probably won't be. Catfish won't give us the skill ups. Red Terrapins will, though. I think they go up to the 50s ish. Oh dear. It wasn't quarter moon when I checked earlier today, although it was headed in that direction. Let's see. Waxing Crescent, 38%. It's getting closer. Ronfar's alright. It uh, doesn't grate on one's nerves as much as uh, Sandoria proper does. I mean, unless you like bagpipes. Can I have a song request? You can, but we'd have to change zones to get there. Smoky Dumpling. Happy Saturday. Anybody else that I forgot to say happy Saturday to? Happy Saturday. My apologies. Going to hit the fish button. <laughs> There's going to be like a little bit of delay. Because you can't just fish as fast as you can. Game's like, no, no. No, no. This is a patience. This is going to teach you to take every... Oh, really? Catfish! I don't want to lose the catfish. That's going to be embarrassing. Don't make it happen, game. Giant catfish. Oh, that's right. We do need to catch big stuff, don't we? Really? in multiple large fish? Wow. One, two... No, that was... Rusted objects. One, two, three, four, five records of eminence that I have active for uh, big fish. See, this is what I've been holding on to all week. I was supposed to do this on Tuesday. <laughs> oh well. Only need what nineteen more of those. Ish, maybe. Didn't catch any. Maybe if I change jobs to, like, Geomancer and then make some rainy weather. Because fish like rainy weather. I don't know why they like rainy weather, but... Would that have any effect? I've never tested it. I don't even think I've ever thought about it before. Um... We'll be right back. Um, let's do... Now let's just do one more. One more. As long as it's a fish, we'll keep going. But if it's you didn't catch anything, or it's a rusted object, or if it's a mob, then we're gonna go grab some stuff. Not that I think it's gonna help much, but there we go. Oh, it's a rusty object. Fuck it. Alright. Hopefully I got my warp ring already equipped. Come on. Warp ring. Yeah, it's on. We're going to click this. We're going to go to item. We're going to go down to warp ring. So I'm going to go pick up Signet and uh, see if that helps. I'm also going to run by the Inventors Coalition. I don't think they've got anything that's going to uh, improve my fishing when the moon phase is not in our... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. And I think we'll also go pick up a, what you call it, fishing skill from a, the Fisherman's Guild in Winders. Actually, yeah, I can do that, because you can be a member of the guild, but not be trading in guild points, I think. I'm going to travel to another home point. Let's do Outland Isles, Western Outland. Mm, auction House is fine. Now, I honestly don't know if having the Outland Signet will give you a fishing buff. I like to think that it would, but it probably doesn't. Let's just pretend. And also the skill up food for crafting. I don't know if that affects fishing at all, or synergy, or really anything. But, it probably won't hurt. Alright, we're gonna do Cast Ionis. You get skill ups in Adolin with their version of Signet. Food doesn't, though. <laughs> Magnum jumped as he took off. <laughs> That's kinda awesome. I wanna start doing that. Do I have a jump button? I don't have a jump button. Dang it. Just turn around, hop, and run this way. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. 
All right, we're gonna go to Western Outland, looking for the Inventors Coalition. Again, I don't think they have anything. I know they have like synthesis rings that will like increase your chance at uh, getting a plus one or increase your chance of a uh, not breaking, all that kind of fun stuff. I think it was uh, this dude, right? You? You sell stuff? No. Yes! Craft Keeper's Ring, Craft Master's Ring, Artificer's Ring, what does that do? Do you have a Pelican Ring? I do on Dentral, but not on Cynical. Increase the rate of synthesis success by 1%. That's not it. Those are for fishing skill. No. And Tiny Macaroon. No. Tiny Rusk. Kizik Ring. What's a Kizik Ring? Oh, that probably just teleports you. Yeah. No. Mormar, come here. Really? That's an odd assortment of rings, isn't it? There's a food... Um, Beast... Beastmaster. Fisherman's Feast, I think. It's all on Dent. We got him uh, turned off at the point. <laughs> and maybe the Taru. Come on, Taru. You got something for me, right? Anything? Possibly? You're having a marvelous, warbless day. Current standing. And... Yeah. I guess not. You think they have the Fisherman's Feast on the auction house? It was cheap when I first got it. They had it for like login points and I like, got like some, way too many stacks of it. Which is why Dent has no space right now. Well, that and other reasons. Um, let's go to Eastern Adelin by the auction house. I passed it, I bet. Statue of Goddess, Wharf, Rental Room. There it is, auction house. Passing a lot of stuff tonight. And we haven't even gotten to the fishing. What? Cat barked at me. You're not supposed to bark. Go back to sleep. She's, uh. How shall we say? She's resting on top of the subwoofer. Because it's nice and warm. I suppose I would be too. Alright, we're gonna click here. We're gonna go to bid. We're gonna do food. It'd be meals. I don't know what kind of meals. It'd be, uh, probably seafood. Yeah, it probably would be seafood. Just gonna go down here, and I see fish. I see fish and chips. Fish, cheap kebab. I need to make one fish. And flounder stuff, but no. Won't see it there, unless it's like at the very bottom. No. Uh, meats and eggs. Seriously doubt it. Is that even an alphabetic order? I guess it is. Frog! Frog flambe! <laughs> no, seafood won't be vegetables. Doubt it would be soup. Breads and... really? Breads and rice. Alright. Breads and rice it is. And I even have these in alphabetic order. Couldn't get much better than that. Passed it, didn't I? Oh, you cheated? You did. It's okay, they got... well, they don't have any. Fishing skill gain rate plus 5%. That's not bad, but it's not what I wanted. Alright. It is fine. Just want to, like, plus fishing skill. Because this I've tested. If you have really high fishing skill and what you're trying to fish up doesn't normally bite during that particular moon phase. I don't know why I ran past the home point crystal. Then you can't craft it. I wouldn't think so. I think it's a uh, I don't remember what it's a reward from. I have to look it up later. One time when Dent his fishing skill was like over level 50 and he didn't need to uh, go after Milk carps anymore, but I was bored and I kind of wanted to. And I just uh, fished up a. Well, actually, just got a whole bunch of just the little worms, expecting to get a bunch of crayfish along with the milk carps. And no, nah, even during quarter moon, got nothing but milk carp bite after bite after bite. It was like I was using insect base during a new moon. Of course, I've just been lucky that one time. We're going to travel to another home point. We're going to go to Winders Port. Homeboy number one, the yes please. 
You need to do fishing eminences to get the fishermen feast. They do have quite a few fishermen's em records of eminence. I want to say there's one that after you like fish up, what was it, 50 different kinds of fish that you uh, get other sunglasses or goggles. I think. Even Dent hasn't been able to complete that yet. I say yet. Who was the really good person? Was it you? I doubt it. You're just standing there fixing a boat. Well, fishing support? No, I want advanced fishing support. The one that lasts a while. Apparently that's not you either. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Can we get out of this conversation? Please? Please? <laughs> I wouldn't think it'd be the Galka. Laughing Lizard, are you advanced? No. He didn't even have pants. Uh... <laughs> you! You're the one, aren't you? Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> Maybe this one. It's like the last one we haven't talked to. There we go, advanced fishing support. Except at 120 gil. Advanced fishing is in Sabina. All right, so being at or Mahara. No, okay. Well, I got one hour's worth of uh, fishing skill enhancement. That, along with, uh, I, I don't know if the glasses will help, since uh, I think my skill is pretty close to forty. I don't know if it's over forty. Probably is over forty now. Quest, no. Status, craft skill, fishing skill should get its own one. 38, so actually they will count. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, plus five, and then I guess we get another plus three, so. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't think it's gonna be that great, but maybe with the uh, Avalon Ionis Signet thingy. So we're gonna do teleportation. Original Lee's going back to Ronvar. Some people are going, you could have fished up at least one turtle by now. It's like, there is that possibility. But it's more than likely we wouldn't have uh, gotten anything. Maybe we should have been facing east. So we'll try facing east. Can't hurt, right? It totally hurt. Hmm. <laughs> I just thought of something. Macro, edit macro. Oh, we can do it on Beastmaster, I don't mind. Copy, paste, copy. Actually, no. The, yeah. Delete, slash, jump. Wait, one. I don't think it's gonna work, but if it can make it look like Cynical jumps up in the air and then magically appears on a tiger, that could be cool. The air's gotten a little bit foggy. That might help. It's like weird stuff it causes fish to come out. It's like new moon, they'll come out more. Full moon, they'll come out more. Uh, quarter moon, they don't want to come out for. Nighttime, they tend to come out more. In the middle of the day, they're like, no, too hot. This could be a terrapin. Come on, skill up. It's a red terrapin! I don't think I saw a skill up, though. Oh well. I don't want to get drunk too quickly, right? Shoot, probably like an hour into the stream. That's our first turtle. Turtle. Sounded like I said hurdle. Probably. Yeah. I don't know how many more of these that we need. I think a lot. Giant catfish! You and your demon turtles. Yep! See, part of me wants to calculate the average number of points we can get per synth 
using the turtle so we can actually you know attribute point per turtle and then add up all the total number of points you will need on average without uh, expecting any critical breaks and then say wow we're gonna need 10,000 red terrapins <laughs> It's like Lu Shang times two, or take two. I could do it. Yeah. Definitely be a lot more fun than uh, the modes. Next! That's a giant cap. Really? That seemed to be such a lively giant catfish. All the giant catfish in Texas just tend to sit there. I can tell you for sure it is in the hundreds. Oh. Well, hundreds is fine. Unless you meant to say hundreds of thousands. In which case... Yeah. Maybe I will start buying them at the... Uh, fishing Guild. Nah, we'll... Uh, we'll do something else. For them. I don't know if I want to do more... Uh, Ambuscade. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow. After I do all my chores. Should probably play like another game. Star Trek Online has been uh, getting kind of behind. At best, you will get 150-ish points per cent. That's so terrible. I don't think I'd even get that many. Be nice. Because my fishing skill is not that great. My fishing skill. My uh, cooking skill is not yet that great. Thought I saw something there, but... Two! Red terrapins tonight. We're on fire now. At least until the sun comes up. Then it's gonna be like game over, man. Guess the sun already set. Yeah, the sun's already set. Never get unused to that black sunglasses. I've been meaning to do that quest on Cyndaquil for quite some time. It's just every time that. He's like, we're going to go do fishing, and we're going to go with this, and go after this, and after this, and I always forget about the uh, goggles. Some reason I remember tonight. It's probably because of Lanos. You'll want to cap out cooking skill, though, as high qualities have a big effect on points. Mm hmm. I don't remember, and I don't think so. You can't trade the catfish to Zaldon, the Galka, and Selbina. Will he slice those open? I would think they'd be too small to have anything of worth in them. It would be at best another fish. <laughs> so, hey, look, found a moat carp. <laughs> Here you go. And even see how many exclamation points this one had. It feels like a turtle. Either that or a really odd item. Nope, it's a turtle. Yay, turtles. Skill up. I want to take a shot. Dang it. <laughs> and Chlamydiana. I forgot to say happy Saturday to you earlier. My apologies. Happy Saturday. Now get another turtle. Mm-hmm. Something pulling at your line. Um shoes. Really? Another arrowwood log? Alright. Anybody that can speak Japanese. I can't make that out. You actually get a title by giving Zelda on a catfish. Cordon Blue Fisher, really? Well then, we'll have to go do that. Ambuscade. Oh, that's what he was asking for. Thank you, Mirathil. Mm -hmm. It was this uh, music video. I've been watching a lot of uh, the German synth pop from uh 10 years ago i'm catching up with it um 
Video's all in German. The music's really nice, really lovely. I have no idea what they're saying. But at the very end of it, as he's putting this uh, lady into the trunk of a car and she's mouthing something, there are subtitles for what she's saying, but the subtitles are in Japanese. So I had to go look them up. And it was, I love you. And I'm like, oh! That's kind of creepy, because he was like closing the trunk on her. Dent, I'm expecting Ibisu plus one in 2018! <laughs> 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 Who knows, maybe the Gobby Box will, um, surprise us. Anything's possible. I mean, this is how Cyndaquil got her Lu Shangs was through the Gobby Box. Anything's possible. Those plus one are such a pain. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine they would be. <laughs> Slash fish. Dentral's other main skill, besides fishing, was woodworking. Because it was always with the intention of being able to repair his Lu Shangs rod on the go. And... Yeah. <laughs> I think he's almost there. But, no, 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 I've always been a little terrified of actually trying to uh, repair my own Nunsheng's rod. Got a Combatant's Torque from Gabi, which was nice since it's good damage dealing neck. And one of them at least. I'm trying to remember. Nope. I got the, uh, I got a Love Torque from the Gabi box. Just a regular one, not the uh, new ones. I wouldn't mind a new one. I actually use the Love Torque still at 99. Just for that plus 5 dagger skill. Didn't have to farm those Lotto Notorious Monsters in Estoran. Just need two more for the Magic Torque. Mm -hmm. Combatants is the all weapon skill plus. Oh! Alright. Which is probably why. I haven't seen it on any of my Paladin channels. Or Beastmaster ones, now that I think about it. Almost there. Almost there. Giant catfish! No skill. <clears throat> Molt carp are getting kind of boring to fish up. Last time I did it on Dent, it was just like, they'd bite and then be instantly no stamina. You just... It felt like fish body. You know, hit the macro, count the six, hit the A button, rinse and repeat. Now it's, take that back, it's not bad if you're like, watching something on the telly next to you. Every time you hear the music, you just hit the A button. But then again, every now and then, you're supposed to respond to GMs when they send you a tell and you're not paying attention to the screen. Technically, you're violating the terms of service. You're like, hey, you didn't respond, so we sent you to jail. And I'm like, what was I doing wrong? It's like, you didn't respond to our tell. I was like, I was watching TV. You're also fishing. It doesn't take that much skill, man. But yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. A little more. Done. Not that that's never that has not happened to me yet. Knock on wood. Keep looking over there, thinking that the catfish will give me a skill. I don't think they will. I don't even remember what they cap at. It's not high. It's higher than the uh... <clears throat> squeaky chair. Still squeaky. It's higher than the moat carps. Those used to be twelve, and they I guess raised it to twenty-two. With the changes they did to uh, skill ups. There's another terrapin. Skill up, skill up, skill up, skill up, skill up. Come on, do it. Ryui got me all excited for a second there because I saw the marker go up. Really? So I should still be getting skill ups from the catfish. Unless, maybe because of all the uh, plus gear that I have on, that might be uh, pushing it back some. Where 
is it? Kill points value fishing novice inside belly. Something quan. Skill cap 31, which will make it up to 41. Cool. Doesn't take skill to fish. You could be pressing those buttons faster. Would save you up to 200 milliseconds per catch. Think like a Japanese tip. You're closer to hitting your cap, you will get fewer. Mm hmm. That is true. Here's another one. I think, yeah. Surprised I haven't got any monsters yet. Really? Embarrassing me. This one better be a skill up. I'm saying it right now. Come on. You can do it. Just a little bit more. Peace. <laughs> I almost want to get out of Kitcher and Macaroon. But maybe, uh. Which makes Algamay so annoying, I don't want to spam cursed gear. So expensive to make. Probably. And you just get the. I don't even know if you can move them anymore. I'm trying to remember what I was looking at for uh, an easy way. I think it was like high potions or something weird. Nothing that you know could really use, but just stuff that stacks. Curse gear is easy. <laughs> Let's see. It's been a while since I pulled up my, uh, what you call it, uh, planner guide for crafting. Diamond shields work to 100 plus, some shield you can make using sparks item. That sounds right. I think it's like the blizzard shield or the ice shield or, or one of the shields that you turn into something like that. Giant catfish. Mm -hmm. Still keep looking, hoping that I get that. Ah. It's when you want skill ups, you're not gonna get them. If you go fishing and you're not looking, I mean, if you don't want them, you're gonna get them like non stop. Alright, schedule, blue magic, fast duck, do these tests and deeds. Come on. This, this is a turtle. Yep. Sorry, a terrapin. I almost want to Google exactly what a terrapin is. Alright, let's go back. Blades, FF11 armor, untitled, untitled, schedule, ambuscade stuff, season schedule, blue mage, best stock. There it is. All craps to one time. Art crashed again. Dang. Another turtle. Wow. What a difference. Getting the buffs, make. But yet, still no fishing skill. Alright, alchemy, 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 alchemy. What did I think would have been a good... Oh, I was going to take pro ethers all the way to 110. <laughs> <sighs> What was in a pro ether again that I thought would have been so simple? Catfish! Fishing episode. Aggro! Happy Saturday. This is a makeup for uh, Tuesday night's uh, internet being complete and utter trash. It was just like bad, bad, bad. I also wanted to test it to see if it was actually the fishing part of the episode that is cursed. So far, so good. Um, Pro Ether. What was in that? All right. This potion instantly restores a lot of MP, and like NBC it for thirteen hundred gil. It's probably gonna cost a lot more than that. Hmm. 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 All right, so you need two airman wings, one trent bulb, three dried majorum, one distilled water, and one wyvern wing. Okay, so the wyvern wing would probably be the most difficult to come across. 
but they can be farmed. Uh, airman wings also, they do not drop often enough for my taste, but they do. Majorem, sometimes you can buy it. I think it depends on uh, which uh, country's in first. Distilled water, dis actually no, distilled water, sometimes you have to uh, go quite a ways out to get. But I could probably work that into my farming schedule. Wyverns, one day. Aramins, the next. Always possible. Oh, got some rusty stuff. Don't have thief. Distilled water is eight gil. Eight gil? Psst. Make our own. <laughs> You're like, what? Get a cactus stem. Desynth it into some water. BC and Sandy in has them. That's right. That is the place. Same with the. Not the grapes. The batter greens or the bow greens or something. Yes, I logged on specifically to stay to watch the fishing. Yeah, it was. I was looking forward to it too. And I almost uploaded the uh, fiasco that was me playing FF11 that night without anybody to talk to. NPCs were not loading on the screen. That's how. That's how bad it is. 41,000 for 550... 41k accolades, 32k sparks. Just from that one catfish. Well, adds up to it. <laughs> so, since it says one hour on the uh, fishing thingy, the uh, support deal, I'm thinking it's really two hours. Because once it hits, you know, 60 minutes left, it'll start telling you 59 minutes. Two hours of fishing skill up. Even just plus three skill up. That's not bad for 120 gil. They didn't, it wasn't like that in the good old days. It was a little bit longer than the other fishing skill, or the other skill up bonuses that you could get from the uh, guild. But I think it was, you know, maybe 15, maybe 30 minutes at most. 15 sounds more right. I remember being so short that it was like, why even bother? This is going to be our first monster for the night. Oh, he survived the chi blast. Well played, Mr. Landcrab. Fishing is two Earth hours. The rest are eight minutes. <laughs> Back to this. And over here, getting a fish. We'll be lucky. We'll shoot. It used to be that you could boost and then Chi Blast, and then put all your plus mind gear on. Actually, no, you want to put all your plus mind gear on before you Chi Blast. <sighs> well, well. Catfish. Sometimes when they dance like this, I'm actually better with the keypad than I am the uh, left stick on the uh, gamepad. But I usually don't have to use that for, like, you know, when I'm on the ferry. And we get, like, Ryugu Titan. But Stent can pull up. Syndical can. Or, she's, uh... And she has quite a ways to go before that happens. You use a controller? Ta-da! <laughs> That's why I have so much fun with, uh... Fluid movement controls and all that other stuff. Hey, look! It's uh, another crab, or... Possibly... Alligator fish. Nope, it's a crab. What else do I have, I wonder, that I can give this guy a fighting chance with? Job abilities. Mm. <laughs> Delivers an attack that can stun the target. Two handed weapon required. And I'm going to guess. What you call it? Hand-to-hand -hand knuckles don't count as a two-hander, because they don't. Well, I wanted to kick him. You wouldn't punch him in the face. 
Oh, I gotta be that way. Oh well. Uh, another thing you can do if you want to play around with the mobs that you fish up, you can like try to attack one of the mobs in the background and then put counter stance up. And as long as wh whoever's trying to kill you or eat you is in your frontal arc, you can uh, counter it. Possibly also get a guard, but chances are at this level difference, most of them will be uh, words. Most of them will be uh, missing you anyways. There's always that 5% chance that they will hit you. And then there'll be 5% chance of that. Well, that's not going to be that high. But uh, there's always that chance you'll also get a uh, crit. Footwork already wore off? I remember it being longer than that. They must have changed that too, trying to improve a uh, monk. Game certainly does like their catfish tonight, don't they? This is just me complaining. I got two red terrapins in a row, and I was like, oh, thank you, game. You didn't have to do that. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna check out how much space I have real fast. Items, 56 out of 80. We're fine, we're fine. We need Zeldon Fishing Trust for dual fishing. I like that. I really, I really do enjoy it. Yeah. So, like, just be, uh, sitting there, fishing, turns around, and watch this, like, a little, uh, sensor bubble pops over him as he's gotten the fish. They never actually show you do his work. They probably have to give the game a mature rating if they did that. Red Terrapin! We're not going to get any skill ups tonight. Dang it! And it's only because I said I'm going to do a shot, liquor, every time we get a fishing skill up. We get fishing skill ups all the time now! But oh well. Run for a cat! Now it's a party. Happy Saturday, friend! We're uh, making up for Tuesday night. Not getting any, uh... Well, actually, no, we did get a couple skill-ups Saturday, even with the uh, terrible internet connection. It was frustrating. So frustrating. But, well, we're making up for it. Kinda. Ish. Not out of space just yet. Inventory space. That was Dent's biggest weakness is... He only had 60 inventory slots, because I was so frugal <laughs> that I was not going to spend the exuberant amount of prices to get uh, the uh, crafting items that were on the, selling on the auction house for millions just to uh, get five more slots of inventory space. So most of the stuff, well for a long time, most of the stuff that I fished up stacked, so, you know. Nothing to worry about. It wasn't until I started going after Griminites and uh, and the uh, squids that it's like, hey, we just let that black soul go because you're at inventory space. Do you have any of the fishing food for Skillop? On Dentral, I do. Makes a nice difference, especially with the Skillop ring. Yeah, Dent has all the fun stuff. Syndical does not. Given Cynical is not supposed to be a main job fisher. This is just uh, something I like to do. Well, two things I like to do. Fish and drink. Who doesn't? I want to say it's the main reason why fishing is so popular in the real world, too. There you are. Sitting in a boat. Side of a river. Off a dock. Drinking booze. Couldn't get much better than that. Like when guys go fishing too. They can go like eight hours without saying anything to each other. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Red Terrapin. Yeah, I would do this for about an hour or two every night before going to bed. I would just, uh, sit back on the couch, um, and I would have uh, Charlie Rose, actually, because he came on really late at night, and I'd be listening to uh, his interviews 
through the speakers while uh, fishing on the PS2. You should fish on Dent as well. Double turtles. <laughs> well, that'd be cheating. <laughs> Ta-da! No, I mean, since Cynical still needs to skill up, and we can use those Terra pins for stuff, then I say, let's try it. Let's do it. And I want to save those uh, Fisherman Feast for Dent when when the 110 is uh, <laughs> coming really, really close. Another one. I say he has a bunch. I think he only has like maybe eight stacks of them. Which is only what, 40 hours? 40 hours is nothing when it comes to fishing. That's why we'll have to wait until an event where the food that you eat lasts twice as long. Speaking of which, do I have any Kitron macaroons? I don't think I do. I think I just buy them before, but every now and then I surprise myself and <gasps> I do! Alright, this dainty colorful sandwich cookie with a lightly sweetened Kitron cream filling is a beloved dessert of artisans everywhere. Increases rate of synthesis success by 7% and increases synthesis skill gain rate by 7%. Since it's so clearly saying synthesis. If it said something, just crafting. Something that I could have looked up into a uh, status craft skill. Then I'd say, what do we got to lose? But since it says synthesis, the no way it could be able to be more specific is if it said item synthesis. There's nothing wrong with item synthesis either. Just, you know, not as relaxing. Maybe a Jaggedy or Jack will show up in the uh, background. No, we're not in. It's the wrong part of Ronfar. Actually, what'll happen, one of my fans will, uh, fans, one of my friends will, uh, be wandering through Ronfar, see Jaggedy or Jack, provoke it, and then drag it back down to me, so it's like, hey, look what I got! <laughs> Syndical thinks she's gonna pull up another catfish. Right, right. All we're getting are like yellow arrows. Does that mean this is gonna be the skill up one? The golden catfish? We think not. No, oh well. So I don't remember if they've fixed it, changed it, done anything with it. It used to be. They have fishing fatigue. You could only fish up 200 small fish per day. Or you could only fish up 70 large fish per day. Since giant catfish count as large fishies, I guess that's going towards that limit. But, uh,. They never actually said if it was like two separate stamina things where you could like fish up 200 milk carps and 70 uh, giant fish. I wouldn't think so. I, I think it would. There's some formula in there where they both combine. All you have to do is, I guess, take the 200, divide it by 70, and then apply that to each of the uh, catfish that you catch. Right? And then we get that number with the small fish until like nothing bites you also know you're approaching it because you'll have to wait longer and longer in between all your uh slash fishes i really again this is how it was in the old days it's been a long time since i've professionally fished a game i guess uh it's the goggles the goggles are holding us back aren't they we should just take off all the gear. No, 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 don't do that. Then we won't get any bites. If you don't get any skill ups, you don't get any bites. Or something like that. Sun should be coming up soon. 
Rusty leggings. Don't toss out the rusty gear. Sure, you can only get 10 gil for it when you uh, go to an NPC vendor. That's not a lot. But you can still take it out to the uh, outpost. And as long as it's not under Beastman control, trade it to the uh, vendor out there. And it gets turned into... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tip of my tongue. Any moment now. Not Imperial Standing, but... Influence. It'll help raise the influence of your nation by just a bit. It's not a lot. Somebody told me that the first time that Bastok was took control of Ronfar for the first time on Quetzalcoatl, it was when a player was leaving the game and he was trading all his uh, high-level gear to the vendor for influence. That was his big final uh, F you to the Zandorians, I guess, as he uh, marched off to greener pastures. I say greener pastures. Probably playing Call of Duty now. I'm assuming it's a he. Could have been a she. Kind of seems like a she thing to do. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Slash fish again. Still no skill ups. No skill ups. We're getting sparks, so not total loss. We're also getting turtles. Not a total loss. I think after this one, I'm just going to check see how many turtles we caught. Ish. This is a turtle. Maybe. I think it is. I still want to see Square Enix will give us a the ability to turn the arrows off one day. And the ability to turn the fishing music off. I would be perfectly content if uh, you didn't have a little battle beat jump. Well, the option to turn it off. Some folks, I think, on message boards I remember reading said you can either rename the files and the game won't use them, or you can even just delete them completely. But I believe what the game does in that instance is it just mutes the music so you won't be hearing the Ronfar theme in the background. There should be a patch for that, but oh well. I guess it's not that big a deal. I know they have battle BGM slash command saying if you're a mage and you're not engaged in the battle and you don't want to be listening to the battle BGM, you can turn that off. I would think they would have something similar for... Well, probably not. We got another Arrowwood log. It's not bad. Starting to think that uh, we'll be able to get our woodworking record of eminence 10 since done at this rate. It's going to need like, what, seven more Arrowwood logs? Cyndaquil's skill is capped at 70, so I don't have anything to skill that up on. Mirathil, I just remembered something. You don't need Thief for the Treasure Hunter for to go farming the stuff. Taming Sorry, you can't... No, that can't be used by uh, Red Mage, which is unfortunate. But the mask, which mask am I thinking about? The white Rarab cap plus one has treasure hunter plus one on it. And there's probably some other pieces as well. I don't know if Red Mage can get the Valor Hose. No, they can't. See, so that would be a shame as well. But treasure hunter plus one is one of the stuff on there. There are a lot of daggers Red Mage can't. How was work? Or, or don't talk about that. <laughs> work was fine. I was in the back room all day, freezing my butt off. It was like 60 degrees outside, but yet 20 degrees in the back room. And uh, even though they have a B rating. But... Just up our stupid sword skill. We can't use daggers, so what's the point? You get to use Excalibur. Which is kind of nice. 
I'd call foul if uh, red mages were able to use both uh, Excalibur and Mandao. But yeah. Uh, work was fine, work was fine. I got all my uh, hard copies checked. Um, only one massive error that there's no way we can uh, recover from that. I'm going to get to do a show and tell on Monday with the tech that typed it and the pharmacist that okayed it and it was all like it's definitely not a <laughs> Lanos before the stream was like I was thinking of uh, the coach at the beginning of the uh, movie of the anime Akira and he's got all the delinquents lined up against the wall and he just smashes each one of them in the face so hard Red Mage can't use Mandao. <laughs> Oh, of course they can. <laughs> oh, but which one do you put in the offhand? You know, do you main hand Excalibur? Offhand Mandel? Few people, including an ear, mentioned it's not worth it to get the Mandel, though. Yeah. Probably because of the lower skill rating, would be my guess. Just a guess. I'd put the dagger offhand for the poison. Ah, okay. I've got nine more inventory slots, so we will be cutting it close with uh hopefully getting a skill up before midnight. Yeah. We'll give it a try. That's all we can do. Now I just remembered I forgot to take my pills. Dang it. Rusty leggings! Yay! We got 100 sparks, 200 limit points, 20 unity accolades. Because of this, because of this, you can you can level all the way up to level 50 without leaving town. <laughs> can sword and dagger be on both? Just something I don't get. I mean, I understand jobs with proficiencies and this and that, and they're trying to find balance and everything. But. But. Same character. It's like, when I'm on Paladin, I can do this, that, and the other with this here sword. But when I'm on Red Mage, I forget how to do all that stuff. What's up with that? It has to do something with the Moogle magic, doesn't it? Probably has everything to do with the Moogle magic. Oh, you know, everyone remember when Arrowwood logs did not stack? You were pretty much required to uh, run around with a stack of, uh, or a couple stacks of a uh, wind crystal so you could like, start synthing your logs on the go to make inventory space to make some more. Don't get it either. They're jack of all trades, but only get sword, dagger, archery, throwing, and club. they get archery. But how many air? How many bows? Actually, let's a uh, red mage uh, equip. Beastmaster, I think it's archery as well. But for the longest time, I couldn't find any um, bows that they could use. I can't throw past like three things and use maybe one. You're right. Something like that. It's messed up. But, oh well. This game has a lot of quirks. All the gear that they tried to balance, it's all like, hey, we're going to put uh, this and this on it, uh, plus 10 accuracy. But we're going to put, like, minus 10 darkness. And most people are like, minus 10 darkness, I, I'll take that. When do we ever fight that's darkness? And then you go to Dynamis, and the mobs start sleeping everybody. You're like, oh, minus ten darkness. It's a mage and has no staff skill. <laughs> oh, so apparently the sweet part of the day is over. The red terrapins have gone into hiding, or it's a spawning season for the rusty legwear, footwear. There's rusty sepulchre. There's rusty feet. There's a rusty cap, even. I've never come across rusty body pieces. 
That would be difficult to explain. Or rusty gloves. And you think there'd be like tons of discarded, torn, messed up gloves in Vanadil. I mean, shoot, they have tons of messed up, discarded gloves here in the real world. I want even just a B-plus with swords. Come on, Square Enix. No point in daggers matching. Didn't catch anything. How close are we to running out of space? 75 out of 8. We still got space. We still got space. I just remember what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday, which is going to be more... Um... Vaniversary questing. All those records of minutes. So we can get so many keys. I even got the uh, Sun Sand one this week. Which I never do. And it's just... I think I finished doing all the stuff in Lathene Plateau. And I was like... Hey, let's just... Run to uh, Valkyrie Dunes real quick since it's just uh, down here. And uh, see if it's dirty weather up. And it wasn't when we entered. I was like, alright, we'll just take this. We'll just keep riding to... Uh, Selvina, and we'll take the home point. Crystal there. No skill up? Really? Maybe we have to come back on a full moon. <laughs> That's when you get all the skill ups. Maybe we need Signet. Signet be like, yeah! We got fishing skill ups with Signet. We didn't tell anybody about it. Just want people to discover it. Something caught the hook! Feels like a catfish. Oh, really? Why you gotta be this way, catfish? Always when I'm streaming. They're never this lively. Is it because of the time of the day? I don't even know what year it is in game. So we should have four more free inventory slots. We also have one milk cart. Where did we get that from? That was probably from the Mog Guard. Hmm. For an idea. Uh, there was a gentleman, I believe, on YouTube that asked me if I could do a short video to discuss about... And I think he... Well, the way I read it, I got the impression that he wanted me to talk about gardening in the Mog House. Because he tried reading on it and it was kind of confusing and there's so much involved with it, it is kind of confusing. You're not using a Lu Shang's rod, are you? Yeah, I'm using a Lu Shang's rod. <laughs> right? There's a... Dentral has a Lu Shang's rod, it's the one that uh, he uh, quested. Cyndaquil's using one that she got from a Gobby box, and then Songarthol has one that uh, Minnie gave us. As a surprise. That's why you're not getting skills. I always get skills with the Lu Shang's Rod. Except this time. <laughs> Maybe it always just seems like I get the skill ups when I get the Lu Shang's Rod. Probably just seems that way. Or maybe it was the last time that I was fishing. We went up to like level 38 skill. They nerfed it on lower level fishers. Oh, Wait, 38's lower level? I think this is gonna be a crab. Feeling like crab tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you couldn't bot. <laughs> You think they would stop caring about that since they did all that uh, crazy stuff? I say crazy stuff. Let's see which one has more mind. Mine plus twenty versus mine plus seventeen. All right, so we're gonna go with the Moo Moo. Probably Moo Moo Bonnet as well. Mine plus fourteen versus. Mine plus ten, yeah. Definitely gonna go with the Moo Moo set. It seems to be the one that we want. First I say that. Watch all the other pieces on the Hizumaru. Sorry. His Yori set. Be just a little bit better. <laughs> Visual, I'm gonna get you. There's gonna be a crit any moment now. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna be all like, oh, see? Yeah. Right then and there. All my white mage capes are like white mage only. 
Yeah, there shouldn't be any stats on any of that. Um, I don't think there'd be any mine on any of the belts. Ow! The fuck? I mean, you're worse than my cat. <laughs> it really is. Um, I, I don't think I have any mine. Ooh, no, that's MP. Dang it! I think I kept all of my mind stuff on a dent. If you fish as beast and wear charisma build, the large fish bite rate increases. <laughs> that would be cool though, wouldn't it? Fish butter AFK confirmed. We're, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to, here, here we go. Job ability boost, because I don't think it works with this anymore. And Zinjack. What day is it? Saturday. Happy Saturday! That's what I wanted. 1,160. Look at him. Just look at him. He's like, he didn't even feel a thing. He was just like, one second, I'm going to get this guy. Next second, nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, slash fish. What was I going to say after that? I forget. I need to rest in peace, Krabby the Crab. <laughs> he is resting peacefully. With all the other crabs that we've sent to uh, Crab Heaven. <sighs> I need to make a new macro for uh, Cyndaquil. Probably do it right now. I think I already have a Moo Moo set. Equip set. This should just take like one moment. Mm -hmm. Grab heaven equals cooking guilt. That's not nice. I mean, it's probably accurate, but still not nice. Alright, so yeah, that's all. Yeah, that can work. So this is equipment set... One, two, three, four, five, six. This is equip set number six, I think. Edit macro, go to monk. There we go. Copy, paste, delete. And we can do equip set zero, zero, six. I think it is a wait one. There we go. Do you want me to go out there and just camp your body for those. Or Kevin equals cooking guild. I can work on throwing skill. <laughs> um. This is probably a different fish macro. Tar true heaven equals cooking guild. Uh, no, it is. I remember when I was working on my throwing skill. With, was I using rocks or was I using a boomerang? I think I was using a boomerang. And I was fighting one of those Gigas Rangers. Because he was like chunking rocks at me, and I was chunking rocks back at him, and it was quite fun. I don't think it's been three minutes. Let's give it a try, though. 20 seconds. Alright. 20 seconds. I'm just gonna have to do that right there. I have that dumb 2 million chakra. It's not dumb. But it's kind of neat. Um, sit chair eight. That's a screenshot right there. <laughs> ah! uh, rest in peace, Crabby the Crab's wife. That wasn't fighting, that was playing catch in the manliest way. The uh, This is how I found out that mostly us it's a boy <laughs> this is uh something i found out when i was exchanging rocks with uh that dude the gigas that they have a limited amount of boulders that they can chunk catch you and when they run out of boulders why did that one oh it's because of the boost boost still affects chi blast then right or did my equip change did not work no 
Yeah, put all that stuff on. Just because of the boost. That's kind of neat. I thought when they redid boost and they just basically turned it into a sneak attack. And I thought, you know, the days of boosted chi blasts were over, but that's kind of neat. Ah! Something else I learned tonight. I should stream on Saturdays more often. <laughs> Slash fish. I don't think that... Yeah, that doesn't change our gear. So we're probably still in the... Uh, set. Don't ant a red mage stalker then. Don't want a red mage stalker then. You can come on out. It's just... You know, it's like, hey! What did you do Saturday night? I was like, I was fishing. I'm like, oh! Guess what I did? I was like, were you watching me fish? Like, yeah! Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Watch, this will be the time that I get the skill up when I don't have the uh, fishing gear on. Get that right game. And do it to me. Right here, right now. Nope! Not going to. Um. I also don't know how much later I'm going to be up. I mean, I always try to keep doing these for three hours, but there's been a couple times this week that's been like. I want to get one skill up, though. I mean, I even got the shot glass ready. That's why we're not getting the skill ups. Going back to macro, edit macro, Beastmaster macro, fish that should have everything I want in it. Yep. Copy. Back up here to monk. We're going to trade that, make it there. Right now, Crabby the Crab's eight children are missing their parents. 7 1 2017. The slaughter at Night's Well. That would be the 7th of January. Oh, you're doing it the European way. Or it's also the military way, isn't it? Which is probably a better way of doing it. I mean, well, maybe. Kind of. Well, if you did like J A N instead of a 07. Oh, sorry, 01. Then have the year after it. But. I don't know. People are weird when it comes to change like that. I got another rusty bucket. You're, there you go. <laughs> That's why you're also one day ahead. Well, shit. I'm like one minute away from being on the seventh of the month as well. <gasps> there it is. Hour changed already in a vanadil. I'm just waiting for my clocks to catch. It's midnight over there on the Vista machine, not on the XP machine. Probably because the XP machines are a little slow. Happy Sunday, everybody. I don't say that often enough. I'm going to mount up. We're going to run back to the vendor real fast. Dang, that didn't work either. 7 a.m. XP machine. XP machine finally caught up. It's at 12 a.m. I use it as my um, port uh, light source. Better than having a lamp pointed at me. So I just don't like the way I look like when it's in the dark. But yeah. <laughs> That's what song plays on. It is super pixelated. Actually, it's not that bad. I uh, repurposed a uh, GPU that I had in my old XP machine. It was actually a pretty decent one. And there was just barely enough room in that box for it. And, uh, it plays okay. Oh, shoot. I mean, I don't even think FF11 uses a GPU at all. It should. You want some fish, man? I got lots of... Wow, I got a lot of fish. Alright, I'm gonna give... Ooh, be careful with that, Den. Do not trade over your trainer specs. Because we're gonna use that for, like, all our RPM from here on out. 11 does use the GPU. Huh. There were one time that I had, uh, all the stuff all the task manager on and while it was playing on the game and GPU was at zero for both of it. Just uses a toaster for CPU. <laughs> You're on a green chocobo. Do I have an emote button on this one? No. Dang it. Just have to do it the old fashioned way. And job uh, emote. Nyin. I'm gonna run to sell bean uh, real quick and gut a bunch of catfish, and that'll be right backs. I say that.
I have to hop off the frog first. Like, it looks so much taller than me. This is my first bird. Oh! Cute. What'd you name him? I'm assuming it's a he. It could be a she. From now on, you must place every rusty bucket you fish up in your mo No. <laughs> I did that once before. I'm never doing it again. And we're gonna do teleportation assistance. I do not believe Selbina has a survival guide. That would be too easy, but Vulcrum Dunes is quite literally right there. Name's Luna. Nice. I'm boring yellow. Oh, my chocobos have been boring yellow. To the point now that I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, it's cute. It's fun. It's kind of sad when it's over. And for some reason, I can't get mine to work. It's a... Uh, Abilities, mount, chocobo right there at the top. See, it's even a slightly different color, but nothing. But yeah, I do remember reading that you could dye them. It's hard to find some for sale. Can't you purchase them from a, what do you call it? The, uh, I was going to say the Moogles. The vendors inside the uh, racetrack. Not that, oh, that's something else I want to do. The racetrack thingy. Get back to where you're going. We were going to change up a macro. Slightly. Ever so slightly. We're going to put mount there. No idea even what's in that one. Copy. Actually, put it down here. Paste. Okay, I can delete that. Copy there. Put it there. Delete. And then we're going to do slash jump. Wait. One. Alright, we'll see what happens. It's probably not going to work. It's probably just going to flash and nothing. Running. Jumping. Yeah. A little bit too much of a delay there. Race guys sells. Race guys selling racing consumables. Race guys sell racing consumables. We'll have to look it up there. Fun is the last adjective I'd use to describe chocobo racing. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Zinjek. Touche. Now, the only way I was able to do it was whichever one character, that's all they would do for the month. And then every day when I logged into each individual character, and it was like, alright, so I need to find out what the guild points of the day is for blacksmith, if it's something that's cheap that I can buy a lot of and just trade them over, and it's all like... <sighs> Let's trade in catfish at Zaldon for a title. Yeah, let's do that. And maybe get something, too. Other than Gil. So I think I can sell these for at most... Is it 150 Gil at the uh, fishing guild? I think. You got one, eh? Hold on a moment. Hold on a minute. I'll get it and see. Notice they fade to black so you don't see any of the uh, bad stuff. Nothing! 50 gil. Shoot. Item. Giant. Catfish. T. <laughs> Made a black one when it first came out, but it was magnitudes that, uh, rental chocobo, so I gave up. <laughs> magnitude. I, yeah, I know what you meant. <laughs> it's like, yes! I got a chocobo, I don't need to pay a chocobo thing anymore. You get out there, it's like... Taru Taru's... Not on Thief. Running past ya. Oh... Let's see... You have to actually target the guy. There we go. Then you can do that. Hmm... Oh, here we go. You need choco bucks for it. 75 choco bucks. Mm-hmm. But I think it's temporary. And you have to race to get those. But I hear the racing isn't too difficult. I'm just going to make a macro. That's what I'm used to when it comes to trading stuff. Alright, which... Actually, I don't need to delete anything. I'll just call this... I'll just call it catfish. Catfish. Item. Cat. 
Giant catfish. Fish T. All right, I got this. Permanent if you don't register. That should work then. I guess we want to make a blue one. You can't get a white chocobo, can ya? I wouldn't mind a white chocobo. Especially on Paladin. Black one, though. That one would be alright. Make sure you look good on it. Let's go with, uh... I'm gonna change it to macros one more time. Did I get the title? Yeah, I forgot to check. Status? Profile? Kulakon Defanger. There is a possibility that I've traded giant catfish to them before. They have white and a ton of viewer, but no white bird. Ah. I'm gonna change up one more macro. Let's see. Mining. Target NPC. There we go. Item. That's what I'm missing. That way it's just simply one macro. Until I run out of fish. Go in there. Copy. Go right there. You fished before? <laughs> Possibly. We're gonna do slip. Whoa, that was the wrong button. Target NPC. I don't think there was even a space in it. Alright, see if this works. There we go. I always like doing everything like one or two. Oh my goodness, we actually got something! Look what this bugger had in his belly! An Earth Wand! Here's the money for the fish, and here's your Earth Wand! Good work. Wow. Greatest Final Fantasy Betrayal 2018. <laughs> that can't be the... Well, no, it probably could be. Earth Wand! Level 21! Damage 8, Delay 216, White Mage, Black Mage, Red Mage, Red Mage. Summoner, Blue Mage, Scholar, and Geo. Additional effect, Earth Damage. It'd be neat if it was like a Kraken Club with Earth Damage on it. So is that like the only thing you can get out of the giant catfish? Probably. It's a club, though I don't want that. <laughs> well, I was just trying to show it. It was like, hey! Here's something else you can get. Although when I think about it, wasn't there like a point for both black mages and uh, red mages where if they were dual wielding um, mage clubs, one sells for 2k on the auction house? Probably not on my auction house. I can't see it selling, period. But maybe I'll stick it in my bazaar for like 150 gil. 10 sold since 2014. Yeah. Oh, you did that with Dark? Really? Okay. December 4th last year. That wasn't too long ago. That was just a little over a month. It would have been like a month and four days since there were 31 days last month. Let's go with that. Unless you meant last year, 2015. Dark with dual cracking clubs and beat up what's his face in the sky. February 2nd, 2016. Wow. Um Kieran. Let's go with Kieran. I've seen videos of Dark Knight. Several Dark Knights actually with cracking clubs. Going after Vertra. And then just lots of stuns. Give me something. Give me something. He never gives me anything. I mean, that Earth Wand? That's probably like the first thing I've gotten in years. Not even exaggerating. Lanos gets a plus chance to, uh, what you call it? Crafting skill up back piece that works for all crafts, but you can't move it from one mule to another. Cause that would be broken. Uh, I don't remember the name of the fish that... Actually, no. I don't remember the name of it. I want to say that something, one of the fishes that you 
fish up from a bridge in Bunkul Inlet. It's like a level 100 fish though, so... Hey, we got another Earth Wand! Now we can dual wield Earth Wands. So glad they're not rare. <laughs> Dang. That's a lot of fish. And since Matsuya, that sounds right. Maybe. I don't really remember. Since we're getting quest completion music, is this like the same as uh, trading over bunches of lettuce to the sheep dude across the way and you'll get fame for both uh, Bastok and uh, Sandy? Not that I know if my fame can go up any higher, but I would like to be able to sell my shields for just a little bit more than what I'm currently doing. Well, there's a blue chocobo die on the auction house right now! No, I better not. I mean, I haven't even got my chocobo fixed yet. I mean, fixed as in I can write it using a... The mount ability. So I'm getting sleepy now. Used to be I could stay up all night, watch the sun rise. Actually, we did that one time. We were out clubbing. This is back when I was living in Austin. I was like, yeah! If we leave right now, we can make it to Port Aransas, which is only like three hours away, and uh, watch the sun come up over the Gulf. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And it was great. We got down there in record time, watched the sun. The drive back, <laughs> those last three hours, so rough, and it's just like, I want to go to sleep, I want to go to sleep right now. You can't, you're driving! And I'm like, no, take the wheel. It's like, dude! Mount ability thankfully ignores their stats if you have a slower bird. Ah! But does it still keep all the other bonuses? Like if you trained it for digging, would it keep all that fun stuff? Or even if you uh, read it for speed. Or does it just make it like a regular trope? Not that I know. You can tell me anything and be like, that's good to know. <laughs> How many catfish did we get? We should be out, right? I guess on the digging at least. One of these days, I'm going to pick it back up. And I know how I'm going to do it, too. It's... I'm just going to have a separate character do it. And then that's how we're just going to start every stream. Is all like, alright, time to check on Baby Chocobo. I like it when they're in their adolescent phase. Teenager, and they look funky. Really weird. You should check your fishing history. Trade Guguru Tuna to Katsunga in Mohora. Okay. Is that the one that looks like Dent? I think it is. You got an extra egg. Hmm. I forgot that you needed an egg. Just, right now I'm not ready to uh, devote that kind of time sink into it because it is something that you want to check every single day. I mean, you can miss a day. It's not like they're going to die. If you miss two days, they're going to die. Did one of those hyper notorious monsters, those odd NM arena fights that... Oh, the ones that you use the Imperial standing for. Yeah, rumor is they increase chance of colored eggs. And we just finally ran out of catfish. We got a bunch of gill. And a couple earth ones. Just make sure it didn't change my title. Status... Profil nope, still got cool Kukulong the Fanger. Mm. That's right. The other eggs you could buy were from a NPC in Juno, wasn't it? Maybe that's why I always got yellow eggs. Alright, let's see if we can change my title. Now, actually this is the cutscene one. Where's the other Dude. And I don't remember you, Felgima. You look like a 
Duncan. Flurry for 30k. Huh. Might have it already. That's lower tier title. You can't replace it. Aww. Wrong for cats being driven crazy by the music. <laughs> Not by those trade quests. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. You learned the other. I've learned everything. <laughs> well, everything that was available in the auction house, at least. Hmm. I'm going to just check in here real quick. He's probably not in here. I remember where he is now. Or, I think I remember where he is now. Fairy's here! Totally right, the fairy. No, stay focused. You need a... Only helps with blood aggro. Deodorite? No, I thought it helped with uh, orcs as well that were ch chasing you. Because they track you by scent. Fairy, please. <laughs> we got a couple of seconds. Um, I thought he was over here. I was wrong. I wonder what's in the building. I wonder why they can't click on the door. <laughs> Keeps you from smelling of blood pretty much. That makes sense. Yeah. I remember I had forgotten about the blood aggro one time when we were doing a skirmish and there were like a whole bunch of uh, skeletons in there and I used Spectral Jig thinking, ha, they won't hear me now. Didn't realize that I had my hit points in the yellow. Aggroed all of them. I was like, yeah. Don't get on the boat. I can't get there fast enough. <laughs> Instead of casting Deodorize, you can just... Heal? You should have enough time. The uh, boat will be here until 2400. Yeah, that could have probably been good as well. Yeah, you got a whole game hour. That's like, what, two minutes? Let's see what she says. Shipbound from Ahura will be tarped in less than an hour. Two minutes in Earth time. You can do it, Mira. I've got faith in you. Of course, did I even bring the right kind of bait for the fairy? Yeah, doesn't work. Where's Minnow? Where's Minnow? There's my Minnow. Minnow will work just fine. Yoda Rise is instant cast. I rarely use it. Even when the orcs are chasing me, I'm just like, <laughs> Orcs. Macro edit. We'll gain actually for equip sets. <laughs> Let's see. I like my chef one. I also like my special because I keep changing that for different streams. This one, I I think I can get rid of. We're gonna go ahead and uh, delete it. Yes, and we're going to change the name. We're gonna call you Eighteen Fish, so I can remember which one it is. And then we're just going to go ahead and edit it here. Uh, let's go ahead and put in the training specs and fishing tunica. I'll go to number four. Yeah, that's it. There they are, fishing gloves. I don't know why I didn't see them. 15 minutes. Can Mira make it? Search. Oh, Mira. Maybe. 12, 11, 10, 9, oh actually no it's still at 10, now it's at 9, 8, <laughs> yeah see you made it, of course I'm not going to run in there because for some reason when I run in there while still in a port, my game will crash, don't know why. <laughs> And it's always one of those things that uh, by the time that I get the game to uncrash, the ferry's taken off. It won't crash for Song or Dent. Their computers are fine. It's just, it's just the super duper heavy duty computer with running lights on it. Um, just really doesn't want you going into the cargo area of the ferry before it departs. It's like you just drop into a hole, but. Uh, I tested it. It is the computer. I, I tried it on Dent one time, and as soon as he ran in there, gone. Man. It's easier to log into him, though, because I just have to log into one of his uh, alts. 
that's in a monk house and then log back out and it'll let him back in instantly. <laughs> Alright, if we're lucky, Seahor will be up. <laughs> click, click. Seahor! Alright, we're gonna search all. We're gonna do invite. Ah, I got aggroed. Oh my goodness. Slash panic. Help, help. I'm under attack. Alright, I'm gonna target the phantom over there. Hit the attack button. I'm gonna go abilities. Job ability. Where's my counter? Counter stance. Counter stance, ho! It's a minnow better for tuna on the ferry. Yeah, but I also get other fish that I skill up on. As opposed to the sinking minnow, which has uh, fewer things that'll go for it. Why aren't you hitting me, dude? Alright. Guess we're just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Here comes the hundred fist. Oh. Hey! We got the good drops. Ta-da! Monsoon feet. Which, what is that? I forget. It's not the movement speed ones. That would be broken. Rainy weather. Evasion plus eight. <laughs> Today is a good day. Because <laughs> we just killed a sea horror. Human feet? <laughs> Going back here. All right, fish button. Actually, no, I need to put that gear on. Can you do that whilst fishing? Equip set zero zero no zero one eight. Yeah. Nope. Can't do it while actually fishing. Mm hmm mm hmm. Dang it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Equip set zero zero for zero one eight. They were RSE. Oh, the monsoon can? I don't think so. No, they're just monk, samurai, and nin. For stuff. Alright, I'm gonna try that one more. Make sure you're actually wearing your fishing stuff. All the fishing stuff. All the fishing stuff I got, at least. Hmm. It's because they're such a rare drop, I suppose. But, evasion plus eight, only when it rains. I'm trying to think, when would that come appropriate? Of course, you also have to look at the level range. Was it in the 30s or the 40s? I have to look back at it. I got a tuna. I found a place to store all my tunas. I store them in the uh, D-Box now, or I just mail them to myself. And it's like, whenever I need a tune, I just take one out of the delivery box. Level 47. I mean, the evasion would only help a ninja. I'm trying to think where a ninja would go. This is in the good old days. Where a ninja would go uh, tanking, and then it also rains in the 40s. Because I think upper 40s, thinking Garlage Citadel... Like the downstairs part. What was another place? Mm, this feels like an item. Oh! Calamari. I think this was a fish that they added later in the game. Oh! Skill up. Finally! It only took like two and a half hours. So, anyway. In the good old days, it happened so infrequently. If we would ever get a fishing scope, we'd have to do like we'd have to stop what we were doing and do a shot. And it's been years since I've actually done a shot. So I'm probably gonna be a lot of hacking, a lot of coughing. <laughs> and we also got a level 39 uh fishing skill. Do I have a chaser ready? I'm probably gonna need a bigger chaser. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, last time I did a shot, it was uh, Straight Jack Daniels. And that cleared the sinuses. <laughs> so... 
We also did a shot every time that we got a guard skill up on Monk, because that was also about as infrequent. Oh. Wish me luck, everyone. Ah! Ow! <laughs> <clears throat> we could probably have to put a limit to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now we're going to have some fun. <laughs> I'm probably going to break our rod next. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I want to say there was like one other thing. Victory fanfare. <laughs> Ack. I'm under attacks. Here, let's see if this uh, Chi Blast macro will work. Oh, I forgot to put the slash me in there. Let's go fix that. Macro. Editing macro. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do me. Let's put the space. Like, no, I wanted to kill him. Oh well. <laughs> they have such a painful death. Oh no, Cynical got the Monsoon Kion. We're gonna go trade that to the uh, Throwing 39. Congrats. We're gonna go trade the Monsoon Kion to one of the regional vendors. See if that'll give us like a lot of influence. Like in, uh, what you call it? Run far. We should actually probably. No, we should do it today. Because. Conquest tally is um eight and a half hours from now. Totally do that. Maybe. Maybe not. Here comes another mob. Red Mage has an F in throwing. It's not like why don't we get any throwing weapon skills? I mean, even if it's like ninja only. I think that would be awesome. Ow. Single shot at it. Mmm. It's like still burning sensation in the back of my throat. <laughs> oh. And if we were still in our 20s, yeah. With the way that they have the fishing skill up now, no problem. But. I'll be happy wappy as long as we're not in last place. Um. Come on. Get the fish. Nowadays, I don't bounce back from a, how shall we say, there's another, oh shoot, there's another fishing skill up. That's why you're supposed to avoid the fairy. I'm gonna do half a shot. <laughs> so I do the whole shot again. Just gonna be, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Just be a little too painful. Because you're not supposed to get two skillops in the same night. Right? Maybe. Actually, it's a Sunday night, so I guess all bets are off. Hitting the fish button. Alright. There's no wishing me luck on this one. <laughs> Hope for the best. Uh, yeah. Yeah, half shots are a lot easier to handle. Of course... Because the weather's dry, and uh, the heaters have been on, you know, my skin's really dry, my lips have been chapped, and right now, you just can't imagine the burning sensation in my lips. <laughs> uh, oh god! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> We're not gonna... Fairy's the place to go for the skill-ups around the upper 30s, apparently. Take the fairy back to Sylvina afterwards. So many skill ups until we actually hit 40, and then we'll have to take the test. Oh, where are all the mobs? Hey, there's a mob. Here, I'm gonna disconnect that one real fast. Or, no, I guess we're gonna fish it up. This feels like an item. I'm not exactly sure which item. Oh, another calamari. Calamari. Pupil skills. Every time that I try to get something, she gets it first. Oh well. Keep skilling up till you catch. 
one day, yes. I remember Ryugi Titans were actually quite a bit more desirable than they are now. I think it was because of Bone Crafters would descent them into something. Was it in their skulls? I think it was just for the skulls. Noble lady! Watch it be a skill up. Okay, no skill up there. Let's see. On um, Paladin, I know I have an emote macro somewhere. There it is. Copy. I'll go back to Monk. Go back here. Paste. Right there. And then the they are feisty. Mercurial Sword was valuable. Oh, that's right. You could slice them open and grab one of those things. Always looks better when Cyndaquil is, uh, how shall we say, wears shorts and hops up on there with the wings. Now that's... I like how the stars don't disappear. <laughs> that's kind of creepy. But still kind of neat at the same time. Um... They don't have Job Emote Fisherman yet, do they? Job Emote... I am on Monk! There we go. <laughs> and we'll just fish just like this. I think. Wouldn't it be cool if he could? Like, keep that up all the time? That's it. Scranix, give us the option where we can turn off stars, but it'll just turn on the Job Emote full time. At least for the static stuff. That would probably drive people's... Just crazy. Incoming monster. I'm surprised we haven't gotten pirates. This feels like the kind of weather that pirates would show up in. Speaking of pirates, this is a pirate pugil. And he's dead. Hmm. So we'll just take the ferry back to town. Can't even see the land. I mean, the weather is downright bad. I mean, it's not raining. Yeah, I love my pip cane. <laughs> I'll take a look at it. The pip cane. Oh, that's the one that drops from a uh, uh, not more Mar. Theodore. Dang it. Yeah. Those things are cool. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Vampirism! Yeah, and you got two of them. Of course you do. If you can move around when you zone into the ferry and the screen is still black equals pirates will attack. If you cannot move before the screen is shown, normal ferry ride. Okay. I never put those together. I always... A s the one thing that I always seem to notice is when the weather was foggy when you came out. That would usually imply that pirates would show up. Of course, then again, it wasn't 100%. I remember times like right now, where it's foggy. It just renamed the door in the pirate version of the zone. Just renamed the door in the pirate version of the zone. Two different fairy zones. Are there two? Oh, shoot, there's another fishing skull up. I know there's the one fishing zone that goes to uh, El Zabi, I'm sorry, White Gate. Mahora. But I, I remember doing shouts with other players on the other ferry going in the opposite direction. It's like we would have the Sea Horror, but they wouldn't, and then other odd stuff like that. Two zones because pirate zones will have different fish, zombie fish. Ah. Let's test out this, uh, Chi Blast macro now. Alright! That worked. That's all I wanted to do. The rest are yours! You use different swords, then? You use style up to these. Ah! I think I have that set for one of my uh, Paladin macros as well. Probably the one with the, uh... Yeah, definitely the one with the set I'm wearing right now. No! Dang it! 
fish go away. Sad face is sad. We should do it one more time. I mean, shoot, skill us what we were getting? Yeah, definitely. We'll just get our skill higher, naturally, and then, uh... Excuse me. And then simply, uh... Catch the red terrapins, you know, bite after bite after bite. Theoretically. Still not gonna run into the, uh... Actually, we just might have enough time. Let me try it real fast. Okay, see, it's usually when I run right about here that the game cancels on me. And now that I'm talking about it, people are like, dude's crazy. He's been drinking. Yeah, he has been. Then he stopped drinking. I'm gonna do sit chair, is it nine? The leaf bench? There we go. That looks comfy. <laughs> See more of those. I'm gonna hop into something red. Macro. Gugura Tuna Turnin and. Oh, we can home point when we get back to Selbina. And we're gonna. Actually, I'd probably just use a warp ring. Let's do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have anything else that's red? Eschite? No. Animo? No. Nuevo? That's very white. Starlet? Mumu? Talia. Talia's red. Acro is. I guess that's more brown. Creed's very shiny. Jumal. I guess it's Talia then. And Stalock. Ack! <laughs> the couch disappeared for a second. Paladic Relic for the win. Paladic Relic makes me look fat. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it just. It's probably just the uh, arrangement of the colors and the stripes, but. No, no, no. It's Paladin AF that makes me look fat. Paladin Relic looks awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing above right now. With dark grays. Just big bones. <laughs> Not on Cyndaquil. I mean, I've seen her shoulders when she doesn't have gear on. It, it, there, there's there's some massive, um, how shall we say, bodily charms in there. Oh, I see what you're doing now. It's the one thing I'm a little jealous about is... Uh, Elbon get to cross their legs. That's how you know that uh, Square Enix loves them more. Let's see. Style lock. Mithra's shoulders are kind of blocky, aren't they? Do we have the same shoes on? I think we do. Are those the Ostro Greaves? Out of curiosity? At least I think that's what I'm wearing. Yeah, Ostro. Summoner Brown Hobo gear set. Please. Oh, you're talking about the, uh, it kind of looks like it was made out of, uh, mud. <laughs> yeah, the, I used to use a different pair of shoes with these because, uh, black, and I didn't have too much in black as far as shoes go, but one day I was just testing everything out, taking a look, because I love playing dress-up in this game. Actually, I love playing dress-up in any game that I can. Um words and then it's like I put on the Austro Greaves and I was surprised that they were a dark color and very form-fitting are nice yeah it's like her legs look skinnier and then I was able to use the uh, hose that you also get from a uh, sinister rain yeah see a lot of people go to sinister rain to get the gear with all the best enchants on it and I just do it for like the dress up mechanics. I still need the founder's panties. Sorry, pants. The kind of panties. But uh one day. One day soon. Alright. I run up here. Chances the uh sea horror will make a return visit. It is water's day. It's also raining. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Don't have tidy whites. Not for the Founders attire, no. No, it's like that one uh, piece of gear that really stands out from the rest. 
And I've tried different things. I've tried wearing the hose with them. And I think there's also a outfit that kind of has a... It kind of looks like a stockings that you're wearing and they only go up so high. Actually, I don't remember that. Maybe it's from Dancer. I have to look into it a little bit further, but... Looks much nicer on the female Elven than it does the Mithra. That's all I'm gonna say. You should get a rain hat for your fishing set. Dent had one. I think he still has it. It was, uh... It might have been the rain hat. It was a blue hat. It was the quest reward for, um... Passing out the flyers in Windurst. And, you know, there was like a minimum number that you could do. Got the Zodiac pants from the formers down in the Tabnasia Dun- Oh. I guess that would be a lot easier to farm nowadays than it would have been some time ago. Hmm. But, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna save all the uh, Notorious Monster camping for, uh, when I actually have nothing left to do. Pay attention here. Seem to be having trouble with this fish. Focus that. This has to be something else. Maybe a titan? Feels like a titan. Yeah. Yeah. I'd... This is above my skill. Extremely rare, notorious monster. Drops from Noble Mold. Well, I've been lucky with extremely rare stuff in the past. The uh, pelican that shows up on the ferry from a uh, Nashmau to a uh, White Gate showed up one time and dropped the uh, Dragoon Boots. Which I think I still have. Maybe. Comes a big fish. This feels like tuna. And I didn't read the story. I saw a headline on uh, my news feed. I think it was this morning, might have been yesterday. About uh, in Japan, there was some bidding going on for uh, tuna. And it went for like what $350,000 or something like that. Don't try to reel in the Ryugu, it breaks the chain. It doesn't break it all the time, but it can break it. And if Syndicate was to try and do it at her skill level, Tensa probably would break. But it would be a hmm, excuse me. It would be a fitting end to a fishing episode, wouldn't it be? It's like, and the rod is broken. It's like we're done for tonight. No, we just have to go out to um Rabau or Rababau or that desert paradise place. Which apparently has the best fishing in the whole wide world in the desert. Because, you know, Square Enix logic. Ow! Why you hit me so hard from behind? That's not nice. Oh! I guess it's a good thing I didn't take my sleeping pills. I'm really starting to uh, fade here. Just a moment. <clears throat> Wake up. Yeah. You know you're getting old when you can't stay up all night. You know you're getting old when the music gets too loud. When you start complaining about people driving outside your window and how loud their vehicles are. And how they just, you know, need to grow up. Ooh, a water elemental! I haven't maxed out my water elemental crystals yet. Although it's probably closest to being completed next to uh, Earth. I only need like 300 more Earth crystals and it's like, BAM! 5,000 Earth crystals. Don't trade us anymore. Oh, just one cluster? So sad. Question I've always wondered about. I don't know if there is an answer for it. I don't know if there's even really a way to test it. The maximum number of clusters you can get up in Elemental used to be three clusters. The minimum being one cluster. I don't think there's ever a chance that you can kill an Elemental and it won't drop at least one cluster. 
Does Treasure Hunter have any effect on the number of clusters that drop? Or is it just completely random? With probably one cluster being 50% of the time. Um, I could even... But does? Okay. I can live with that. I will continue fighting my... Uh, When there's the Records of Eminence weekly, or weekly, the uh, limited time challenge is kill a uh, treasure in our aspect because it's a regular item. Sure. I could see that. When we need to uh, kill 20 mobs with magic, I'll go up to Sky, summon all my Taru Tarus that cast magic spells, usually when I'm on Thief because of the movement speed, and I'll just go after the elementals. And they will make short work of them. They still give XP, so therefore they count. They don't give any capacity points, so that's kind of dull. But you get to end up with a bunch of other clusters, like lightning clusters I usually don't see too much of. Rest in peace, monkey, the sea monk. Aww. Do you not have blood pants, then? Blood pants. Probably not. What are blood pants? I got Valor Hose, but that's not the same thing. Nope. Pretty sure I don't have Blood Pants. 119 version... Is that going to be like the... Uh, some of the Abjuration gear with the cursed versions that you have to... Uh, blood Queases have... Oh, those things! Okay. If I... No. I think I might have the normal quality one, but even that I'm not 100% sure about. I definitely don't have any of the uh, stuff from Estra Ruan yet, because, because I'm still making Burk Gang. And I don't want to... I don't know, just go up. I don't want to jump into content that I don't feel I'm ready for yet. Yeah, and I'm also just putting off all the good stuff till the end, because... Once you start doing Endgame, it's like... Pretty much every single night. End game, end game, end game, and more end game. And would you like some end game to go with your end game? Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the whole reason why I went with Paladin, because there's more demand for it, but yeah. No drink? No, no, no. With the amount of uh, skill ups that we were getting, the frequency of these things, and my uh, stomach ulcers. And also with the cost of uh, rum these days, I really don't... Uh, that's not something I can bounce back from very easily. I'm still probably going to wake up with a slight hangover in the morning. That's also because I was drinking a little bit before the start of the stream. Oh! I don't know, I got some amaretto in the... No, I can't do shots of amaretto. That's just silly. Another skill up! Oh my goodness! Dragonius and I do a red mage seven nin two times. Wow! It's not really endgame. I guess I'll have to take a look at that. Then we could likely duo that notorious monster. But then I'd have to save up Gil for uh, the cursed gear. But the plus movement speed's nice. I'm not going to complain about that. We'll come back to that one. We will revisit it. Because, after all, 3,000 Alexandrite to go. That's like, what, 30 more stacks? Ish? Probably 35 more stacks. More Seamog. It's like, should be cheap now. <laughs> well, maybe not just yet, but they're probably coming down in price since all the folks that are going to go ahead and get the full crafting shields that do perfect um, high qualities or breaks. Are already out, but you know, you could make them <laughs> even better. What does this feel like? That feels like another calamari. No, it's a blue tail. I remember when blue tails were difficult to fish up. It was like I would have to fight to get them, and that one wasn't. Well, that wasn't much of a fight at all. There's a piece, monkey, onky, the sea monkey. 
Those sea monks. They're probably my favorite Aquan, honestly. Now that I think about it, I probably want a jug pet of a sea monk. They're so big that we probably will never see it. It's still like Guguru, Tuna, 500 more limit points. I should have, I should have done something with my uh, limit points or merit points before uh, starting. Oh well. Wrong notorious monster. It's an evil book. The head is easy to do. Nothing wrong with that. Notice that the music stopped. I noticed that the music stopped. You know why the music stopped? Because we got a Ryugu Titan. But usually the music stops because the uh, pirates are showing up. And usually the pirates would have shown up by now. Alright, just hit escape. We're not going to get that. Here comes the music again. Okay, maybe the music just had to rewind. But normally when I hear the music stops, it's uh, because pirates start showing up alongside the uh, starboard side. Maybe it was just a glitch in the game. Or maybe I just had too much to drink tonight. Maybe because it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. And it's 23 minutes past my bedtime. Here's a question for everybody. There's no right or wrong answer. I just want more opinions than anything. Say you're one of those uh, sappy people. Sorry. That uh, did a... What's the word I'm looking for? New Year's resolution, even though I didn't write it down or anything like that, this is something I've actually been trying to do for a few months. Setting the alarm for uh, early, early in the morning. Wow, that's shiny. Been setting the alarm for 6.30 in the morning for, since October, with the intention of getting up, hopping on the exercise machine, exercising for half an hour, take your shower, and all that other fun stuff. What has actually happened has been... Hey, another monster. <laughs> What's actually happened has I've been hitting the snooze button about 12 times until the last possible minute where if you don't get up now, you're going to be late for work. On January 1st, not because I told myself this is what we're going to be doing, um, I actually started getting out of bed and making the bed, turning the alarm clock off instead of the snooze button, and hopping on the elliptical. And since we've been working every day, we've continued to do it. Tomorrow, or I guess later today, it's going to be the uh, first day off that I don't need to set the alarm to wake up or anything like that. And I'm debating if whether or not I should continue setting the alarm for 6.30, which is only five and a half hours from now, or uh, sleep in. I'm worried that if I sleep in on one day, that I'm going to start sleeping in on the next day, and it'll continue like that. But, I don't know. It's just one of those things that I'll probably decide in the morning, when the alarm goes off, be like, screw this. I got a headache. Going back to bed. Because that's usually what happens. <laughs> it's like, we'll just do a double exercise routine on the next day. Yeah. Getting a lot of Titans tonight. But it's okay. So we're also getting the other fun stuffs. Like Noble Ladies and Oh, never mind, I guess we're done. Well, dang it! Sleep in and then stream. Maybe I should shave first. I almost did that on last Monday. It's like, you don't need to shave. You don't even tie your hair back. Just show up and it's like, this is what I look like when I've had five days off. It's not that my beard grows in perfectly because of, uh, how shall we say, mixed heritage will have that effect. But uh could wait for the boat to leave and just sell to NPCs. On board. This is true. Could. But no, this is, it's, we're approaching that three hour mark. We're a little bit... No, I think we're actually hitting that 12-hour 
12 hour mark. We're in that three hour mark. We wanted to start the stream earlier at the usual nine o'clock hour to freak everybody out, but Lanos was streaming his uh, Dynamis Divergence best stock run, and I was watching that, and I was rather disappointed that he wasn't the dead Taru Taru on the floor. WTF, Lanos. But, uh, all is well. I started at 10... Did I start at 10.30? Was it that late? I guess it would have been. Goo Guru Tuna Turning... No, I, I, I... If I have nothing else to sell in the auction house, I will sh put my tunas up there. But I like to hold on to them because they're needed to make sublime sushi. Given they're also really easy to fish up. A lot more easy than the Black Souls. And definitely a lot more easier than the urchins the was it the bibiki bay urchin something like that i've actually never fished one of those up successfully i usually just buy them all oh, 9 30 12 30 1 o'clock but yeah not turn into zelda on turn into sea fishing statistics oh they're not gonna be that great but maybe next time we do a fishing episode probably something about having a bird's rear end sitting on the top of one's head that just screams unhygienic. I, that might be the whole reason why I never got into Final Fantasy XIII, was just that chocobo chick popping out of the guy's hair every other cutscene. And I'm just like, yeah, I get the point that it's cute, but oh my gosh, can you imagine the skin condition he has because of that? <laughs> Oh, in yay pictures. Anyways, how many terrapins did I catch tonight? That was something I was supposed to count earlier and didn't. Thirteen! That's one more than what I was expecting. How many tunas did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Only seven tunas and two rides, so that's about like, what, three and a half per run? Four noble ladies, five cone calamares. Some more polypores. Fun times. Excellent. Should do like a. Gotta do it in the right window though. Job emote hard for, you know. Hey, now we get to go to Sky and kill a bunch of Arcana. That's, that's what you do when it's Vanquish Arcana. I sp you can also go to. Uh, Fei-Yin. They have some pots that drop uh, capacity points as well. There's only seven of them. And if somebody else shows up wanting the same mobs, and you know, you're trying to split them up amongst one another, not so good. But I can keep talking for hours and hours and hours. So I'll just say this. Be good, everyone. Stay safe. Have fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to be on tomorrow night. I usually don't stream on Sundays, but I also usually don't stream on Saturdays, so we shall see. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.